I didn't hate it. Oh no, the happy music! God dang. All right, all right, change it, change it. We're going to, we're moving, we're moving over to the game, the game of the day. All right, update, yay! And that's how, <laughs> and that's when I found out I forgot to save. No, that was good. I turned it down a little bit, but I really like this menu music. You know what the- oh my god, you know what the other- hold on, hold on, hold on. There's really good menu music in this game. It's like- it's like- why is it so good I have no idea. It's honestly not fair, because it's an indie game. Okay, that's- <laughs> you done. Cut him off! Good. Oh, oh it's over. <laughs> Aww. Thanks, Tommy. Some flower face just for you. Oh, I think we should make that an emote. Actually, my friend said we should make that an emote. I'm not going to take credit for his idea of my face, but... There. This is the, I, this is the really, really good menu music. It's... it's unreal. Okay, 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 okay. Back to the game. Right, here we go. Oh crap, I forgot how I was doing their voices. I was getting into it yesterday. Actually, like, ah, uh, what was, oh, what was her voice? <sighs> Amateur VA go. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> so, you guys remember, you might remember. I mean, almost everyone here is the, is one of, like, the original, the original viewers from six, seven years ago. But you remember when, like, Nyat used to raid me, right? And that guy, that guy. He, he really liked it when I did bad accents. And by bad accents, I was just trying to do accents, but I was bad at them. And, uh, I mean, they're just, they're just my voice. But with, like, slightly, like, there's, like, a 1% inflection difference. Uh, but, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. He, like, I would send him clips of me just practicing accents. And it just, it just, like, randomly made it a day. He- he was fascinated by how cringy I could be. I remember that being like a weird selling point. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed a lot. I guess- I guess I still am, cause that's just- that's just charm, that just never- you just never stop- you never grow out of being cringy, but... <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Let me- <clears throat> Oh god, uh... I'll take- it'll take me a little bit to get into it, but I'll- I'll, I'll do my best. <clears throat> Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. <laughs> Don't worry. I just walked in, too. Were you practicing the piano again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up the piano. Well, <laughs> maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. <laughs> I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a... Oh, wait, this is me. <laughs> you sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? <laughs> I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean, you of all people? Because! It's right in your name! Monica! Eh? That's not how you say my name at all! Also, that joke makes no sense in translation! I- I was lost. I was lost. Charming cringe. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> Never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me, where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. She mad. It, she's mad because I told her I wouldn't walk home with her yesterday. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back. Is everything alright? 
Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sh Sora shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. <clears throat> well, alright, if you say so. I wordly glance at Siori before turning back toward everyone else, but the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Siori recently. Since they've been preparing the festival, they must have been spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shifling, shifling, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. <laughs> the shiffle. Kamara, what's up? Hey, hey this um <clears throat> might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading all into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly draggling draggling oh we're having trouble we're having trouble i need some more coffee <laughs> a rubber eraser up and down her desk that's cute that's cute i think i'm do you think i read a little too fast because i mean i talk a little too fast so i feel like it's maybe not comprehensible unless you're actually following along and so maybe i should try to be a little bit more audiobook about it in which it's true um I don't know. Because then you could, like, not actually have to... I mean, you could watch, too, if you wanted to. But you don't actually have to watch, because then you could hear every single word and not me just destroy them as I read and also really fast. Anyway. <clears throat> Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Kor. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Wait, does that even... Does that sentence even make sense? But I'm surprised I'm not the... Oh. It kind of makes sense, but it's un like it's unnatural. I don't know if anyone, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say even something remotely similar to that. But yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know that's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no, it, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Huh? Huh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? Oh god, no. So I really like this protagonist, but like... Every VN protagonist, almost in the history of VNs, have that like super oblivious like trait that i just i just hate it just I... <sighs> maybe maybe he'll get it. maybe he'll get it maybe he'll get it but like he's been really cool so far really reasonable and i like that his like personality is kind of like less expressive so it foils against the girls who are more expressive but like oh god i hope he doesn't also have that that fatal flaw I mean, it, I know why I know why it exists. It's like a, it's like it's basically like a cop out. Because if he realized the feelings early on, a there would be a lot less tension. The game would be shorter, and like, you know, like the drama of miscommunication. Because why talk about things when you can assume them for others and create problems beyond yourself? But you know, like every once in a while, it's just it's just a little refreshing when the protagonist is like emotionally intuitive slash intelligent i think that's why like my favorite protagonists of harem games are like i mean they're usually still kind of ridiculous but they're maybe a little smoother in that department like the two that come to mind is i don't know if you've ever played fruits of grisaia um and that protagonist i don't really agree with necessarily everything that goes on in that game but he definitely is more interesting than the typical like oblivious average guy i guess and the other one that comes to mind this is actually my favorite visual novel it's basically like like death note hentai <laughs> it's it's called um what's it called devil on a g-string or something which is like kind of an innuendo but it's also a song and yeah that protagonist 
is like a shitty person but like he's aware of it and he uses it to be manipulative and and like villainous and it's juicy like the fact that he's aware of himself and how he comes off and and uses that sort of thing to his advantage is like actually really refreshing and also the writing is quite smart and there's like a really good plot twist anyway <clears throat> i'm saying that maybe the thing on your mind is on her mind is you cor me how on earth would you come to that conclusion well i probably shouldn't say too much but siori talks about you more than anything else you know eh? she's been so much happier ever since you joined the club it's like an extra light was turned on inside her what no way Siori is always like that i don't i've never played this before okay okay you guys wait tom dami do you play do you play vns too or is it just phil or like both but maybe but maybe he like goes a little harder than you <laughs> you know like i don't i don't know what the competition the vn is but <clears throat> okay so then i you played dope okay that, that's yeah i think that's fine that, that's good you miss you're missing out a little bit but you know they're time consuming i will they're they're actually extremely time consuming some of them all right phil top five i'm gonna say five Th like five would actually be a good number for me and i feel like you're probably more well read than me so you should say your top five vids unless you're not comfortable with saying that out loud then you can message them to me is that too many not enough i could do five i could do five are they all hearts? I mean, that's fine. No judgment. But I'm just curious. No. The, no. Dumb. Uh, she's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than how it's always been. <laughs> You're so funny, <laughs> I can't. I just couldn't do that with a straight face. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> jeez. He's so dumb. <sighs> Composure. <laughs> honey puff was actually good for some reason. I tried pulling the honey cam one. It wasn't as good to me. Um, have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? <gasps> she's secret sad. I knew it. Okay, so she's the one that's going to be like like um like, I don't know, kind of, like, crazy bitch, kind of, I, I get these, like, really, like, uptight, tense, and anxious feels about her, like, she's, she, she honestly kind of strikes me a little bit as, like, like, the Yandere type, where she just, she could, like, pull out a knife at any moment. Sayori strikes me as the, like, like, the cheerful girl who's actually, like, really sad and depressed. Um, Yuri, I guess, does have a little bit of that, like, knife-pulling action, where she's, she's, you know, quiet and mysterious, and she likes possibly you know like dead things and stuff and creepy and horror who's the last girl it's like no there's one more i'm oh oh the the short one um i don't know i have i don't know Mount Fair about yet. i don't have a real i don't have a read yet but crafting my list i believe in you um i said too much i'm sorry what do i know anyway I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget it, but I already know I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Oops. Oops, like- Oh wait. Oh god. That's right, there's history! That other game, the KFC game didn't have it, and I was just used to- Alright. Oh, but that's impossible. Exactly how much do I care about her? That I'm letting it weigh- Letting this weigh me down so much. Okay. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peeling at me from- peeling at me <laughs> peering at me from over her book but she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face i realize that she won't get anywhere like this i've never really seen yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord so i have no choice but to approach her myself by now it's a little easier for me to do that i stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own hmm i 
didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell what I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you concern. <clears throat> Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, they are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping up themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? Sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sir and I have been best friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Kor, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah, uh, so you think there might be something behind it after all. Hmm, I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what might be going inside her head, and she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too, and I also feel some concern for her. Where's my lip balm? You guys, like, know when your lips are getting dry and just, like, really bothers you if you can't find the thing that fixes it? No! Wait, wait, it fell? Oh, it did. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> wait, how's my... Right, there we go. <sighs> it's why I have lotion, like, in arm's reach at any given time. I hate the feeling of feeling dry, which happens a lot in Colorado, as one might expect. All right. <clears throat> And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori... I need a fan. Oh, okay. Hold on. Sorry. One more adjustment. One more! <clears throat> okay. Okay. That's better. <clears throat> Someone turned it off last always supposed to be on ever since i've been in malaysia like i realized the beauty of fans and how great airflow is so great oh, so great a 10 year old really that could be cool i watched well i heard really good things about um this sex director documentary it's like a really famous uh sorry mr santa i mean unless you're you, you know, posted a bad link. Then not sorry. But I can- Oh. What- What would you like to post? <laughs> I can- I can permit you, but I don't- I don't know what you want to post. <laughs> I'm- I'm gonna believe in your goodwill. I'm gonna believe in your goodwill. Also, hi, Cancer. Let me click this. Is it? <gasps> wow! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, you're an... You're an OG, too! Hey! Hey! Welcome back. Welcome back to the seven-year revival stream. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Man, I'm having, like... Some phlegm problems? <clears throat> Are we showing up? <laughs> hey, Bash. Okay. Oh, where? oh God. <clears throat> How am I supposed to do the Yuri voice if I'm having, like, frog throat? <clears throat> it's, been, it's been a minute. It has. My hair's better now. IMO. <laughs> I'm, I've not kept a single color. Like in a long time. And it's I think I've actually kept this going for like a year now. It is. But Raviv was taken, so I changed it. But then I heard it wasn't taken, so I might change it back. 
I, I'm indecisive, though, so we'll figure that out in a, in a year, or maybe. <laughs> it's on the list. All right. <clears throat> she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? <laughs> I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being good friends. <clears throat> Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Deeply... <clears throat> Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I invert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware of in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. He just wants the V. <laughs> He's simple. We want basement twin dollar. I know. Tents. Uh, it's okay. I'm gonna get tent emojis one day. Probably maybe soon. I'm working on it. And then that'll be that'll be a uh, I don't know. <laughs> That'll be for all of my nostalgia. And an Ezreal best boy emojis. And then, and then, and sunflower face. That's all I've got so far. Hey, Ray Hunter. We have another seven years. <laughs> no. Well, if you mean like you have to wait another seven years, no. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Also, if I'm stream. God, if I'm streaming when I'm in my almost mid 30s. Wow, that'd actually be kind of a cool thought. I'm imagining this. It could be cool. I was gonna say that sounds terrible, but no, it actually sounds kind of cool. Mm. Uh, I thought there's also what like. I don't. I don't know. Isn't there like followage too or something? Or maybe. No. I, I saw a couple of people doing that, but I don't know if I have it set up because I'm a noob and I haven't set most things up, but uh, Also, I think if you click can you click your own? Um... Okay, maybe not. Maybe I could just I can tell you right? Oh <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. You, you did have account before that account You have the list <laughs> That's why I didn't recognize you guys <laughs> oh, weren't you like Wilka Tom or something back in the day? And and Phil was was it Asian Penguin? No, was it, really? I can only remember one day at a time. All right, <laughs> Cloud. Okay, not Penguin. Who was it Asian Penguin? Okay, didn't work. Sorry, Jimbo. Well, I can- yours says, um, August 5th, 2012. Ah! Oh, good feels. Good feel. He stole that name from my friend. You have another friend who went by Asian Cloud Boy? I know. Well, guys are old. <laughs> that's just- that's all that means. And now, your pasta. <laughs> I mean, that's, prob that's probably an upgrade, to be honest. No, it's okay. I think <laughs> Varys' email is like Cloud Strife with some numbers behind it. So it's fine. <laughs> like, like, we've all been there. <laughs> oh, God. Don't tell him I said that. I mean, it's fine. He he's It's fine. I do like embarrassing him, though. That's like one of my favorite pastimes. Oh, first five. What am I doing? I know. That's why I thought, okay, I, I mentioned this earlier, but I really didn't think that there were going to be too many people, like, returning because I'm like, like, shit, you guys probably have families and stuff now. You know, that's like, that was my pr thought process. I mean, I don't, but, and then like careers and, and like houses and maybe a car <laughs> and a dog. That's a lot of stuff. Like, people. 
I w for me, I think watching stream would probably be like one of the first things that would go as soon as my life got busier. Oh, that's what's up. No, but <laughs> well, that's the best place to be then. <laughs> like, I mean, wait, unless unemployment is uh is you know like putting you into debt and stuff and, and really stressful, then maybe not the best place to be. I love not working though on a person like that's that's great. It's it's a good feeling um when you can afford to not work, you know. <laughs> but um, but some people you know sometimes that's like you know it, it, I guess it would help if my job lined up with like my passions. It's more of like a it works for me, which Oh shoot. Wait, the VN list is coming out. I totally forgot about it. It took a while. Okay. Oh, you do like Kamidori? Yes. All right. I'm I'm totally going to play that next cuz I really I really want to play a good shopkeeper game and, you know, the hentai is just a bonus. All right, 2 Doki Doki. All right. Oh wait, that's this one. Is it that good? Am I playing a really good game right now, guys? Oh shit. Um, Rabby Rabby. I haven't heard that one. It's been here the longest. Um, I would say... That's tough. Oh, man. I only know... A couple people who... Ooh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like... And this might just be a gut feel. I don't know if you guys remember Disclaimer and Hume Q, but they were there real early. Um, but... I don't know if I'm misremembering that because they just happened to talk a little bit more in chat back then. They're they're busier people now. I think Disclaimer streams too, um, which I don't think he was doing back then. Uh, what else? And Varus was, was definitely one of the first two because that's actually how we ended up becoming friends was because like I remember he was like one of the only people for a little while there. I mean, on and off, right? That, that was like talking to me. And I remember it being really unique because I don't know. We're going to hold on. I'm going to launch into nostalgia real quick. <clears throat> I don't know if you, like, remember how I met him, but it was, it was through a leak of all things, and we just destroyed his team. Kaomi was just passive-aggressively in, typing in all chat the whole time, and, and Varys was being cheeky and, like, kind of cute about dying repeatedly in all chat to Kaomi, and usually when Kaomi's BMing in all chat, like, people don't respond, or if they do, they're, like, really aggressive and rude about it, right? Because he's being rude, which is fair. But, like, I remember Varys just being, like, witty and amusing and self-depreciating about his team, and it was actually, it was, like, it made me crack up. And so, like, remember messaging him after that and being, like, oh, do you want to, like, play with us because your teammates sucked or something? <laughs> and, like, he, like, joined our, like, little... I don't think we were playing ranked or anything. Maybe we were. It was just, like, team group and, yeah. And, like, the rest was history. Um, but the reason he... I remember him being one of the first people in stream, which is also why he ended up becoming first, the first mod I ever had, was because I put... When I was playing League, I would put, like, the Twitch URL in my, like, League status. And I guess he just followed it one day early on. And, like... Yeah, he just basically kind of kept me company when when there were a lot fewer people to do so. Um, yeah. Wait, what was that? Why was that? Why, why did I launch that? Oh, like, yeah, you're asking who... So he he's probably up there. I would say, like, top five talkers early, early on. That I would remember. Obviously, like, it's going to be harder to know who was here longest based on lurking because, like, the interaction is more what I remember. Um, memory bank-wise, right? But I'm not in the hole, but I'm not... And yay! Okay, okay. I get it. I, I may or may not be floating soon myself. <laughs> looking looking forward to that, that uh that tax return in March. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I I mentioned this earlier, but essentially uh I, I did some traveling last month. My mom has stage four cancer and so she was going to visit her family in Malaysia where her mom is getting older and basically needs to go into a uh, retirement home soon. Or, like, she's, like, browsing. She's, like, uh, touring for nursing homes. And so I had to go because, like, you know, like, I have to accompany my mom, who's basically, like, accompanying her mom, and it was a lot of, a lot of estrogen. And um, not really, like, ideal vacation in a sense because it's very, like, I don't know, turning nursing homes seem fun to you. But it was actually a good time because there's really, really good food, as you might imagine in Southeast Asia, and it's really, really cheap. Um, 
but we had a 55 hour flight time on the way back literally i had two 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 12 hour layovers and in the middle of that vacation right so i had to take like three and a half weeks off of work um i find out like the restaurant that i'm working at is like oh so we're not making enough money we're going to switch the concept you guys still have a job but you won't be working until basically november earliest we, i still haven't heard anything like literally no, i've got i haven't gotten a single email about if that's still happening I mean, they're, they're going to keep the space, and they're going to make another restaurant, and I know I'm still hired. But, like, the fact that it's still radio silence, and it's, like, two weeks away, and I know that training's going to be, like, a week before that, I would be surprised if they launched on time, is all I'm saying. Anyway, so, basically, yeah, I found out, like, I, I took almost a month off, basically, just to take another minimum month off. So I did the responsible thing and went to TwitchCon <laughs> and spent um, a good amount of money on on that weekend ticket and, and last minute flight. Um, yeah, Wings slash Daryl hooked me up with the with the hotel. He ended up doing this like Twitch rivals thing and and um, it was like paid for and that was that was really nice because that saved me. I would definitely not have been able to like afford that on the fly. So that was like my last little hurrah. But then I got there and I was like, man, streaming is. Not how I remember it seven years ago. And then, like, my gear's returning because I don't have anything to do this month. And then I was like... And also, I always regretted, like, quitting the way I did. And sorry for everyone who's heard this story, like, six times already. <laughs> I want to get everyone caught up, which might be impossible. But I'm going to do my best. Anyway. So, yeah. So this is here. This is happening. And eventually, I'll probably work again when when that happens too but I'll, I'm, i I, de I definitely plan to do both if i decide to work otherwise i might just like chill over the holidays because like i was saying like it's all it's just it's like barely october and i feel really busy already and i'm not even like working at the restaurant so like to add full-time training restaurant beginning stuff and all the holidays happening i don't know i was pretty good about saving Go me. That's like the one adult thing that I was slightly okay at in my life. <laughs> and, yeah. And buying enough shoes. I'm pretty adult about buying shoes. In, in, in excess. And, in, and anime figurines. I guess that's, that's actually like minus adult points if you spend too much money on anime figurines. Anyway, that's the story. Alright, we're caught up. We can go back. We can go back. The 18th. Wait, the 18s are so good in, in, in Kamidori? Oh, I forgot. We were at the list. Okay, Necropon Volume 2, because that one's the one with Maple. Sakura Dungeon. I haven't heard of that one. Give me the, give me the spiel. Give me the log line of Sakura Dungeon. Sakura. There we go. Okay. Purely for H. Mm. See, I find H-teens make me feel a little awkward. And I usually try to read them, like, as fast as possible, because I'm all about, like, the story and the character interactions. I know, what a surprise. Uh, but... I mean... Good characters are good characters. So... There's that. Okay, we'll start- then maybe- that's maybe not- gonna, that's not gonna be an easy sell on me. Yeah, yeah, Varys, yeah, it's with the- the eye. He's at D&D &D tonight, so he, uh... Is not modding tonight. You remember each other? Kawaii? In the all chat flame? <gasps> really? Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Anonymous Gifter. That why you hide. And then it wasn't. Or maybe it is. Listening intense. <laughs> but yeah, so. That's that's the sitch, and also I have a dog now. Oh, she's actually not with me. I would show you. Oh, I could still show you. I have a phone. I love her so much. Or you can join our Discord, where I spam the Discord with dog pics. Actually, I haven't spammed it yet. I've only I've only done one because I'm controlling myself. Look, little baby. This is her sleeping with me, like two days ago. She om she really does. She's not a cuddler, so every time she looks cuddly, I have to take a picture. Cause it's so rare. Like if she if she knows I'm taking a picture of her, she's just like nope. She just nopes out of it. She just gets up and walks away and then stops looking cute. <sighs> anyway, so now I'm like a, a dog parent, and you know family stuff. And and my brother is ten years younger than me, so there's 
he's going through the phase, maybe? I don't know. That's what that's what my parents think, and so there's like kind of like more strife than usual in the house. And it's not bad for me to be here. I mean, obviously financially it's not, but like, in terms of an emotional need to be with your family basis. And, yeah, Kiwi was saying the other day, like, a really good point, so I've got to stretch, uh, about how, uh, basically troll VNs are what got people into VNs to be given. Like, like the, how, well, I mean, they're not even, like, troll if they're good, but, I mean, kind of. You know, like, this game, um, the pigeon one that I haven't played but I heard was actually really good, um, I guess kind of even maybe the KFC for some people, that'll be some people's first VN, and that may turn them on or off forever, uh, but basically, yeah, I think that has helped bring that market to us, um, remains to be seen, effectiveness and such, but there's definitely a thriving VN localization, um, I don't know, market out there, because my VN is packed, my, my, my Vita is packed with VN. Like, I probably have a thousand hours of VNs to play on it that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, the one I'm playing right now is Fate Stay Night, and I've been, I've been playing that for a couple weeks. Because um, it's, it's kind of a classic, and then I'm, I'll probably play the Alchemist game. The other one I also really want to play is Dramatical Murder, because that yaoi looks delicious. <laughs> the doggies. <laughs> Check my Instagram right now. Like, right now? Normally, I try to, like, check things at the end, but we'll see. I don't even think I have any notifications. Oh. <laughs> wait, you really... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a suit? Wait. For me or you? Cause you said something about a suit earlier, and now I'm wearing. I'm now I'm worried. <laughs> Ooh, the color is interesting. I'll I'll show you guys. Look, it's. I'd wear it. I'd wear it. I'd wear it on stream. I actually want to have a suit stream, and and a onesie stream. But I haven't. I need to wash them. So, <laughs> that that I'll do that first. I pr well, I guess it doesn't matter since you guys aren't in the room with me, but, you know, for posterity. Do viewers have to wear suits too? Oh my god, <laughs> black and, like, black and, uh, black tie, white glove event? <laughs> That's classy. It'd be really cool if there was some more, sort of way that, like, viewers could, like, plug in in, a, like, a, tri a Twitch-integrated uh, system, you know, without having to, like, you know, set up some sort of, I don't know, group Discord voice call thing. That'd be cool. I hope they do that. They've been they've been okay about innovation. I was surprised coming back like everything that they added. Hot hot the floor, I think. Yeah, yeah. Mm, he's already on it. <laughs> you just, you're just like all right, all right. Raviv needs a suit, and you just like pop out, buy a suit. <laughs> How did that happen? I mean, thank you in advance. I'll definitely give it a try. Oh, they did. Alright, I'll just, I guess I'll just have to play it by myself. I mean, I was gonna, I was, like, thinking about playing, um, Song of Saya, but Vera said it was probably not a good idea on Twitch. So, I'm, I'm just like, yeah. Let it go. <laughs> noted. I noted. I'll keep that, I'll keep that in the back of my mind. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Small cat. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, this was a good sidebar. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop back to it. So, um, cause if this game is really, I don't want to make this game three parts if I don't have to. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not saying you, you can stop. I like I like talking. I like you guys talking. So keep going if you'd like to. But, um, here. <clears throat> ah, that's not a compliment, is it? Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, so as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the clubroom. Why don't we share our poems now? Oh, I forgot I wrote a poem. <clears throat> Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. To Sayori. 
セオリーリ、パリリ、バイワン、ゲットワン、トゥーセオ。ゼロナイツ、オーマン、that's another, that's another OG、I remember。June 3rd、スナップ、that's like、That's one, that might be one of the earlier ones. Because I started streaming May, if I recall. Was it May? Was it late May or early May? That might be with the 30% off coupon. Gotta get that coupon hustle. Alright. Where was I? Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe, maybe, that's not really what I meant though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. She's not happy. She's not happy. And you're happy too, right? I mean, she's happy for him, which is nice. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I saw the gifted sub. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I started, I, I think I started in May, May 2012. I, I only am thinking I said, I, the only reason I think that's correct is because I wrote it down. So that may not actually be correct. I was a young lad. I know. We were all young lads. <laughs> See, m o n How are you f o l k Oh shoot! Oh man, that is early. That is early. I'll give that to you. I mean, June is still, I think, kind of way up there. And like, I think August is. It's like June, August when like some of the raids happen. But still, that's like first three months. That's super OG. Back in the day when. <laughs> And I d e c l a r In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Kor. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> all right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Oh man, that's sad. I should have picked her, you know? I should have, I should have stood by my childhood friend. But long hair girl. Oh man, I actually feel guilty. She's really cool. Except me. <laughs> Except you, because you're actually old versus not. <laughs> I don't, I, wait. I don't even know how old you are. That's, I mean, you don't have to tell me. I was just, I don't, I don't think any of us are actually old. And if we were, it's, it's, it's okay, you know? We're, we're not ageist here. But, no, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting and different being in your mid 20s versus like your early 20s, late teens. It's a whole new ball game. Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, everyone report him. <laughs> no, he worked very hard for his badge, guys. <laughs> very hard. <laughs> don't, don't ruin it. <laughs> that's funny. That's, that's good. I mean, yeah. All right, anyway, what was it? Mm. Core, your writing has only approved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. <laughs> Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never came naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. You mean, I mean, you just, you just changed that word and, 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 you know, put it with pretty much any body part. But yeah, yeah, let's, let's go with that. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. Can't believe you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Core, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, 
I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it, anyway. But... Books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you. I'm not a know-it-all, Cor. It's just the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. Chest hand. That I really understood what I was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, double chest hand, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Cor. I speak too slowly, I second guess myself all the time, I read too deeply into things, but every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others, but that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I just treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri, and if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends, and I would say that I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way... Yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. <laughs> Bang hold hair. <laughs> um, um, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. That was sweet. Oh, that was that was that was actually real good feels right there, which is probably dangerous. But that was actually a really cute scene. I like that these people like have semi like mature emotional conversations. I grew out of it, but I can't. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks, Matt. I, I'm i trying. Maybe after I, you know, play 50 more visual novels, I'll apply. I'll audition. <laughs> the dream. Then I can get rejected and never feel like I missed out on an opportunity. <sighs> Honestly, I would, I would, I would be interested in voice acting. But it's like one of those things that people think is really easy, but like the hustle to break into is really hard. Like, when people are like, oh, you know, you should be a model. And I'm like, I don't want to move to New York and have three jobs and audition all day and never see my friends or family. Um, and, you know, probably owe 50 grand to my modeling agency in the process. <laughs> Maybe that's a slight exaggeration. But let's just say you have to really, really want it. And the only thing I really, 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 really want is, like, to publish books. And that's something that I can do without, like... Soup. Well, I mean, I guess there is a bit of a hustle to it, but it's a little lower key than like transplanting my life and and um, audition for an eighteen plus. Now, I I don't know. I always I always laugh at those kind of parts because I'm like, man, this must be really awkward to act, voice or you know physically or whatever. I just, I think it's always really funny when when like you know like you're like, ah, oh, this scene must have been must have been hilarious <laughs> to just do. It's, tr I mean, underappreciated, but I don't usually use them, because Kyle, t yeah, 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 you changed your name. Hey, Kyle. I, I actually know your last name, too, but I won't say it, because, because anonymity. Thank you. It's good to be back. How have you, life's been going well for you, if I recall. You have, like, you're, like, smart. You have a good, like, degree slash possible career lined up? Maybe you're already working? Like, good for you. You, 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 you did the thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's Tommy or not. I want to thank Tommy every time, but then I'm like, what if I'm doing the real anonymous person a disservice? So I'll just be like, thanks, anonymous gifter. Maybe Tommy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What? Who's? <sighs> I'm not. 
anonymity. So frustrating! But that's fine. That's fine. We are thankful. We are gracious human beings. He spooks up ghosts. <laughs> there was there was a little bit there was there was some parties that had me. I know, but but Phil keeps saying it's you. See? That's like no one else is saying anything else to anyone. So like that's all the subjective bias I have to go on. <laughs> Even I know that's a lie. <laughs> you guys are mean to each other. Alright. Ghost under the light part two. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. Again with the bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. Wait, did I already read? No, it, oh, it's part two. Right, right. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows. Closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laughed. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Yeah, no, I mean, I really am not into the, like, the symbolism thing. I think it's pretty. Like, that's all I've got to say. The rest is, like... Not for me. <laughs> it's alright. Wait, Tommy and Phil. Wait, do you guys just all know each other? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. RuneScape. How has that game been? It got... It got better-ish, right? Like, they did, a, they, they did some, like, updates on it. And I know you can play it on your phone now, which I was actually pretty curious about. Oh no, I got distracted. I picked up my phone. No! Close the phone! Close the phone! Oh, I believe it. I mean, I think for even the crappiest games out there, there's some people that will just always go hardcore, you know? But... Oh no. I must stop looking at social media. Oh. Uh... Oh. <laughs> it's a wor- it, like, A wormhole. It's a black hole. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Hmm. Do you dislike it? No, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. What? I found it hard to- f I mean, I, is it what- I, Is it about him? I don't know what it's about. Tell me what it's about! I've no- I rarely feel, like, stupider than the protagonist, but- should I read it again? Oh, I can't. Alright. Whatever. I'm just gonna assume it's about him. Everything's about the protagonist in these games. That's fine. I understand this one. <laughs> Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we can keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can, um, the poem is, once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that... I can return the favor sometime. Yeah, don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back to me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Oh, Phil, have you played? I, sh I, I looked it up that one day on stream. I don't remember if you were like there or in lyric mode yet, but the, the, ooh, Hold on. Utaware. Utaware mono? Yeah. That one. Have you played that game at all? Because it's like another harm, but it's like kind of <laughs> historical. I mean, historical fiction, but. Here, here, here. Did you play that one, Phil? Tell me how it is if you have. 
because it's on my list and I could really use I could really shrink my list at some point. It would be nice. It'd be nice to shrink my list. Let me see if I can hold on. Let me see if I no, no, this is not time. Not the time. We can I have a list and I can show people later. I don't wanna distract this from the stream any more than I already have. Or game, rather. It's my stream, I can do what I want. <sighs> hey Orm! Julie was here earlier. She she contributed to a gift sub party. Ugh. Hey, Ver. 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 You. Verlix. Ver. You. We're gonna call you Ver. Hey, Ver. <laughs> Sorry. I just saw the anonymous gifter thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, Monica. We're going to Monica. Hi, Core. Now I feel like it's like a combination of anonymous gifters. Oh, it's a PG Christian. Ooh. Family-friendly content here for- So far, mostly. A solid 85% of the time. Um, have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in her hands. Hmm. Your style's gotten so refined, Cor. Teachy's been... Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you've been spending with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. Oh. One sec. I'm gonna pause. I'm not pause. I'm just gonna see if I can call my mom without getting up. Okay. I think the message was received. <clears throat> I'm so lazy. I'll text my brother to like come up if I need to talk to him. <laughs> we never see each other. He's in he's like in the farthest room he could possibly be from my room, which is literally like one floor down, but the the way that you get there is like a maze. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, where were we at? Um well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm, you're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. <laughs> That's <laughs> It's awfully suspicious, you know, spending time with her in the club room every day, reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I, I just feel bad. She has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know? <laughs> all right, all right, I get you. Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't o used to opening herself up, so if something bad happens when she's vulnerable, and it could be really hard for her. That's... I feel that's a foreshadowing. Like, she's only like... <sighs> the knife pull is happening. I'm ready. Exposed. <laughs> her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. <laughs> anyway! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, all right. The Lady Who Knows Everything. A tale, an old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The Lady Who Knows Everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight. Twilight. The twilight sky. That's not a... I'm... That's a typo, right? <laughs> that twilight sky. Alright. Until one day, the wind, ce the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and I fall. And fall even more. Gentle as a feather. A dry quill. Expressionless. But a hand catches me beneath, beneath... Between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no one, no end to her gaze. 
The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, but your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. I... I don't, man, some of, this, some of this poetry makes me feel good about, like, my high school poetry, which I don't really know what that says. I... Okay, okay, alright, chat. Do you like poems that rhyme? Like, yes or no? Because sometimes I'm like, oh, it's just like, it's like the really crappy cheap, like, cheek, cheek, cheap kind of, like, commercially poems are, like, poems that go out of their way to, like, rhyme as much as possible. And then you have poems kind of like this, where they're like, there's no rhyming at all. And I don't like that either. So I feel like maybe I'm just looking for a middle ground. And some of the poems have been there. Like, that felt more like an esoteric short story. Like, I don't know, like flash fiction than, than like what I consider a poem. Because like, I don't know, like, but it's art, because an art is, like, you this, like, fluid thing that anything can be art, and anything, everything is art, but also not, you know, like, I don't, <sighs> anyway, boys' words. Okay. If, if it's a reach, or, yeah, yeah, if it's a reach, okay, so yeah, it has to feel, like, smooth and organic. <laughs> not how I prefer my peanut butter, but something like that. Okay, like, I think we're on the same page, then. <laughs> You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but if it, it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. Ooh, do the poems change, like, from playthrough to playthrough? Nah, probably not. Probably not. But if that would be cool if it did. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Is that how you say that word? Anyway. Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, you know, there is one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? <laughs> yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Aren't, are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you switch so much time into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling your bad, well, your, you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. That's actually alright. Yeah, that's alright. I think... I mean, obviously the power of community is strong. We're, we're on Twitch after all. I myself have never really gone out of my way to connect with like writing groups, even though I feel like they can be really beneficial. I don't know. It's like, I don't, I don't know if I'd wanna be that vulnerable with a bunch of strangers, even though, you know, like more props to you if you can be. I'm just really lucky I have like one person and then a, like a handful of like readers who are pretty thoughtful and specific with advice and I, that, that's usually how I get through but I don't know maybe it'd be good for me <laughs> yeah I'm a chunky artificial peanut <laughs> smooth candy mm. meh I guess you really haven't learned anything after all honestly I don't know why I got my hopes up in the first place what I didn't think this one was that bad what did I do wrong Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's just going to sound like you're forcing it unless you don't, wait, what? <laughs> unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's lo- Yunatsuki stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Huh? You're, you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. Y you know Yuri would love this kind of- this angsty- Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean- I mean, ugh! Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed back over me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. 
At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Wait. She didn't even show me her poem. She mad. <laughs> wow. Wow. I feel gypped. Sunday's in my I mean, I like, I like that, I like that type, but I don't really like her. Maybe it's just her design, and I usually do kind of like, well, I don't like the super spicy short purse like trope, but like, I don't know. She's, yeah, she's probably my least favorite, even though generally I'm kind of, I'm kind of drawn to those characters. Maybe it's just because the other characters are like, really good. Like, I like that Monica is kind of big sister role, but also like, popular school idol girl at the same time and she's like fulfilling both tropes without really going too ham in either one which i usually don't care for too much okay you three we're all done sharing poems right why don't we start figuring out hold on a second is it just me or did you say something strange just now hmm? something did sound a bit unusual it's like i thought like what the you three thing that's right you deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Siori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Siori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. She, <laughs> she wasn't actually feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Hey, Shaggy! Her, my, her eyes are up there. <laughs> hope you're doing well. Oh. I was gonna ask how your work went, and I'm like, man, that's such a banal, banal, banal question that I ask everyone. And I don't know if anyone actually likes being asked, like, how was, how was the worst part of your day? I mean, I mean, some people like their work, you know. But it, yeah. Anyway, back to, back to the thing. <laughs> Seriously, of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey dovey. Hey, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And secondly, she's been kind of avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys! I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? <laughs> Challenge accepted. Excepted. <laughs> Made protagonist. He, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's like a solid 8 out of 10. When most VN protagonists, especially in like the harm, like sub-genre, rogue, whatever, are usually like a 4, and sometimes a 3. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sari will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Hmm... Yuri, you can... Um... Eh? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, 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 that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Huh. Now, now Skate's pouting too? Jeez. Oh, hey, that's him. What do you say? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Siori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder for you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case, but if I can't be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decoration to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Uh, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Kor, the one that is truly useless. <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. You would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. 
You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you really shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Or may not like to be around it if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So, therefore, he may be more suited to assisting you with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds like you're more making excuses just for court. What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Come on, these guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Core to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides... He hasn't really gotten to spend chance to, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in you literally just said uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry, I was just saying though. Jeez, can we just settle this already? Yeah. Core, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh of course. Huh. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going with... Every time I pick the girl I've been picking this whole time, y'all are like, bad end. And now, I'm not sure if I should, like, I'm not sure if I should do it. I mean, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be consistent. Because I, I feel like that's that's how you end up playing that, you know, like, RPGs and stuff. But like, maybe it's just always a bad end. Alright. I wish people would buy... It's not... Wait. I shouldn't, I shouldn't act like people have thought over me. I don't know. Maybe to some indirect extent. But, like, I'm just gonna say it's not fun being the person in, like, that position. It seems appealing. Because, but, like, the cuter and nicer and more interesting and more likable that they are, the more it sucks to deny them, right? Because it's one thing to say no to one person one-on-one. -on -one. It's another thing when you're saying no to three people out of four, you know? And even worse when they're this cute. It's not, it's not fun. You think you want it. You don't. You're her worst girl. <gasps> Tommy, how dare you? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did I hear your, your best girl? I'm trying to remember. God, we, we talked about best girl in this game last night. I don't remember. It's <laughs> What's who? I want to like ask everyone's best girl again, but I don't want to be redundant. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, here we go. Okay, this is just how you do like content in VN, right? You like stick to one path, see everything on that path, then you play it again. You know, you go through all the different branches. And this game seems actually like worth playing all the different branches, though I don't know if I'd stream them all. I'm assuming there's branches. Let me be bad. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> Wait, well, of course, all three. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. I see, I see your math. But which one's the best? Or is that the order? You play the whole game. <laughs> well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you. Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something really mean. No, I was just say- <sighs> So, you'll be helping Yuri then, Cor- <gasps> Oh my god, I just- I just realized what game I want to play if I- I have to buy a capture card, but- I, re I really want to play The World Ends With You. Oh, but, I don't know, there is a lot of gr- I mean, you just don't have to grind on the game, but I do do a lot of grinding on the game. But the music's really good. Oh god, I really want to play The World Ends With You now. I don't know why that specific moment just happened right there, but- it's a really good game. And they put it on Switch, and I didn't really like the way they did it on Switch because there's, like, a mobile version where it's more, like, um, like, touch-oriented, I guess? But the way to, like... Because, like, what I really liked about, um, the 3DS version, or rather, I guess it was technically the DS, um, was that it was really chaotic because you had, like, the double-screen battle, and so you had to, like, you know, your eyes just had to, like, vertically, you know, adapt to that and... And it was like really chaotic and anyway, wait, wait, it was really great. 
And so the mobile slash Switch version ended up having these, like, kind of semi-basic touch controls, and you only controlled one character instead of two, and then you'd, like, summon the other character to come in and help you. But, but then, the reason I ended up buying it was because, like, I saw people playing two-player but by themselves. So, like, you know, in two-player, like, each person has a controller. And it simulated the experience of the DS, but, like, maybe more engaging. And that's that's actually why I really want to play. I want to play, like, the two-player, one-player experience for maximum chaoticness. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I got, I got really distracted. Oh, man. Oh, God. I love that game. Top top three storylines of games. Near Automata? I mean, is it... How, how expensive is that? <laughs> how... how is it is it on sales yet? Because I mean I kind of got oh that's not the way you spell I kind of got spoiled on it, but like I would probably enjoy the combat. I usually like these kind of games. I just don't play a ton of them. Like I I want I want really Bayonetta two. If it's anything like that, that's good. And then I played a lot of Double May Cry as well. Uh, five was the shit. Oh god, it was so good. Alright, alright, what were we doing? I'm really glad they revived that series, not like the reboot of the series, but like the actual main series. I love video games! <laughs> 18 endings? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah! Zero Nineteen, what's up? I actually did like the reboot game, but... Like... Not as much? You know, like, I didn't hate it. Some people really hated on it, and it just- it wasn't that bad. It was actually kind of interesting because there were really um these these worlds that like had multiple layers and dimensions to them and they and they um kind of like moved and like the other cool thing was that it it did that kind of cheeky arcade style where like it writes what you're supposed to do next on the wall. I don't know, I kind of like that additional flavor. It it had it had character. So it's sad that it it felt like a lot of fans never really gave it a chance. <laughs> no, the- oh god, I, I want to talk about the ending. Uh, how can I talk about it without spoiling it? The ending was hype. That's all, like, like, oh god, like the- What's his- I can't believe I forgot. It's near art, right? Yeah, yeah. So good. Uh, so good. <laughs> On V, oh my god, and I loved- I love V. But also, like, I really love the play style of being, like, a mage in a- in a, like, a really- I don't know, it's not like a fighting game, you know, like, you know what I mean. An action game. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the music was so good too. <sighs> That's a good game. It was too sad. It was sad that the co-op missions were kind of like really few and far between. The only good one was the was the gauntlet. Where like you would drop in like three levels. And that was the only one you could like actually play with people. And I grinded like the shit out of that level. Because it was like the only way I could play with my friends. <gasps> oh my god, that reminds me. I never actually watched the... Uh, Okay, you know how, um, there's, like, two ways you can watch the cutscenes in the game? There's, like, the, the actual anime, like, anime cutscenes, and then there's the, um, there's, like, the actors in, like, the mob suits or whatever? I didn't see that one, and I hear it was hilarious. God, I need to go back to that game. I actually haven't uninstalled it yet, which is a good sign, because normally, like, when I'm like, oh, I probably won't play this again for, you know, a few days, I'll just, like, insta-uninstall it, because I'm... I got, I got, like, pretty particular about, like, organizing my Steam for a brief point in my life. And also, like, SSDs are expensive. I only, I only have, like, a small one for my boot drive, but I'm trying to, like, be more manageable about space. Because it's really easy to just, like, install everything and save everything and then not think about it. And then you're like, oh, gotta reformat my computer. And then it takes, like, 20 days because you have so much crap to sort through. So I'm trying to be better. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! I thought you meant- I thought you meant a streamer for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she- she's great. Oh, she's so great. Who's, um... Uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm- I've, I'm like... I'm a big fan of... What? I, <laughs> the semi-spoiler character in, like... That game. Um... I, like, I've always appreciated, like, the blue Ani personality, like, the intellectual cold, usually antagonist paired against someone who wears red. Like, yeah. The counterpart to, like, the main character is usually, like, my favorite character. 
generally. And that doesn't have to be like a villain, it's usually like the blue versus red rival character. That's why I really liked, if anyone saw the anime Scryed, as Cryed, it was on like Adult Swim briefly. It was like one of the few animes I watched in dub, god forbid. And um, yeah, that had a really good like rivalry relationship that I was, that I was digging. Okay. Oh no. Put it away. Putting the phone away. Yeah, 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 I do. Oh, so I never finished the the game Virgil was big in, so DMC3, because it was one of the hardest ones, if I recall. Um, so shame on me. But I would, I need to go back and watch a movie of, like, DMC3. Yeah. Can't read and play games. Can read and talk, but yeah. Can't read and also read game at the same time. That one's difficult. That's a talent I have not unlocked. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these things. So I think your assistant will, will be very useful. <laughs> That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the banking, banking by yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I'd be fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yep, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Cora? Me? Um, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? <sighs> Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. I... Uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Cora picked me, and also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea, and nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. Sorry if I said something bad. That was cute. Oh, I love it when, like, okay. I actually love it when, in like, there's actually really wholesome, like, female-female or male-male relationships, even if they're, like, actively rivals or fighting over, like, protag son, I guess. Um, like, oh, it's, so, it's just so cute when they make up. I, <laughs> it's a sign of maturity, all right? Oh, wait. We were talking about Devil May Cry. That's right. Mmm. The Capcom Redemption art. For real. Oh yeah. See you later, Sunset. Enjoy your- Ooh, yeah, yeah. Is he running? No, you're making a joke. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Siori. Even if she didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Siori would have said at a time like this. Because Siori was always help- always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. Can we- Wait. Resident Evil- Resident Evil 2- Oh! <laughs> um... That's actually not a terrible idea, as much as I would possibly hate it, but it's not a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll make this, like, one of those goals that'll be really hard to reach, so so I don't maybe have to follow through with it, but I can say that I'm following through with it. Yeah. <laughs> Donation. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid. No. <laughs> Let's, uh... Let- <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on, let me- let me- <laughs> Let me, um- <clears throat> Donation call. <laughs> I mean- <laughs> Let- let me, um- Um, compose myself. No, uh, let me figure it out first. Uh, what what looks feasible 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 plus reasonable together i guess that's what that means oh that is my notification 
Yo, who's pinning me right now? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. I'll get back to you. Close the wallet. We'll, we'll, we can, if you would really like, you may open it later. That's, but not, not, let's, yeah. Oh, God. Too much, too much, too much generosity tonight. I'm, 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 I'm capped. I'm capped. But we can talk about it. We can talk about, we can talk about the, that game happening. It's, it's, it's not that scary, right? Like, it's, it's only like, like, you know, like a little scary? Because anything beyond a little scary, I don't handle very well. Like, I feel like you guys would be nice to me and you wouldn't pick a completely terrifying game. Because then literally I would just stop after five minutes to everyone's disappointment. So. <laughs> How bad was no, you helped so much. Like, that was really cool of you. Honestly, I was... <laughs> so, I put, like, that, like, dinner plan together, uh, I don't know, like, a few weeks in advance, maybe, I think, in my head I did. I think I did. And so, like, I was, like, I was prepared when I put it together, and I was like, yeah, so this place is maybe a little bit more expensive. Um, you know, I will plan accordingly. And then, like, you know, the day came, and I did not plan accordingly, and I was like, damn, this place is actually really expensive. And I, like, I'm like, I normally... <sighs> Yeah, I, I didn't, I like, wanted to order alcohol, but I was like, oh my god, drinks are so expensive, and I'm like, trying not to think about, okay, so, like, just to give a little bit of background, I used, like, okay, so my family used to be kind of poor, but, like, for me, I mean, it's, it's my fault, I could have worked if I wanted to, probably, I mean, yeah, every, like, that was an option, but I was just working for, like, my church at the time, because mom wanted me to get, like, plugged into the community when I was, like, kind of in high school-ish. So, like, you know, I was like, well, if I had to go to church, I might as well get paid for it. And so I worked at the coffee bar for, like, four years? And it paid $20 plus, like, whatever tips I made, which, uh, at the beginning were actually okay, but towards the end it, like, wasn't great, and because, like, my mom does a lot of, like, church activities, we'd be, we, it would be, like, six hours for, like, yeah, like $25 a week. And so that was basically the equivalent of my allowance. Because, you know, I, I don't have an allowance or whatever. So, like, um, it would be actually kind of weird if I still had one, maybe? I mean, everyone has their own situation. But, um, my allowance is the, is, is the rent thing, I guess. But, <laughs> that's a good allowance. Anyway, I got distracted. What was it? I'm oh, yeah. So, I, let's just say I was used to living on a small amount into even like, my adult phase of life, where, like, to, like, to give an example, one of my friends, they have, a uh, somewhat expensive taste, and I was kind of fancying them at the time, and I'm using neutral pronouns, not because they're neutral, but because I'm uh, keeping their identity a secret. Anyway, and, like, it was a big deal to me when I, like, treated someone to a semi-expensive meal, because that would be my whole month's salary, essentially, right? Like, that was all the money I would earn in an entire month gone in two hours. And, yeah, I don't know, I just kind of grew up... It's changed a little bit in the last year. My restaurant job was pretty decent, I will say. That's why I have anime... Col that, that's why I have somewhat semi-excessive collection of anime figurines, which are sometimes not cheap, but I found ways because I'm thrifty sometimes. Um, but, yeah, so... I mean, I, I guess I get, I guess the point of the story is I've got, I've gotten used to living pretty lean if I have to. And so, like, I, it took me a long time not to be scared of, like, paying a $3 Uber, which is ridiculously expensive, but in my head I'm like, well, if I took the bus it would be free and I'd be saving myself $3. You know, like, I still kind of do some of those mental calculations in my head because, like, you know, I'm, you know, a lot more, like, I guess... I don't know, comfortable-ish now? And it's, it's really, it's an amazing feeling when you, when you can get to that point where you're, like, I guess to give one example, um, like, I knew I made it in life when I was able to buy, like, an entire bucket of bleach instead of just, like, a one application, you know, <laughs> like, like, I was like, oh my god, I don't have to go to the store every single time, because, like, like, you know, the, like, the one application of bleach is, like, I don't know, like, three to six dollars, but the bucket is, like, 25 sometimes 40 if depending on like what brand you're buying and but the bucket is like you know a really good deal you're just buying it wholesale but the upfront cost is like you know unappealing <laughs> and so now i can buy buckets of bleach it's great oh my like wow yeah 
Oh god, that was a good feeling. I remember that. <laughs> Baby's first job, <laughs> you know? Well, real job. Well, anyway, yeah, anyway, basically, appreciate it. Yeah, it was, that was nice of you. That was a kind gesture. Yeah, see, you guys are nice. You wouldn't cripple me, because, like, then I would just have nightmares for five days and, like, maybe just hate streaming and, you know, stop forever. That's my way of guilting everyone. <laughs> You know, actually, okay, I would probably play it if I had, like, music on the background, because I think the thing that really creeps me out, I mean, A, A I really hate jump scares, but, like, the ambiance, like, good, creepy music, I can't do that, so it would be, like, lots of lights, and probably, like, nonsensical K-pop happening, and that would be, that would be how I played Resident Evil 5, if, if that happens, Hope, hopefully soon, but, you know, if it did, that's the theory. <laughs> Ooh, I bet New York is bruder, br brutal. <laughs> uh, yeah. Coming back from like Southeast Asia food price here is uh can be a little rough. <laughs> um it like it definitely makes you question like the eating industry in our country. And then you know like the whole tip thing. I mean, I work in that industry, so it's like it can benefit me in that sense, but yeah, and, and at the same time, restaurants still, m well, most restaurants don't make that much of a profit. Um, the chains and franchises with, like, the branding and everything, they usually do make pretty, like, good money as a, as a company. But, like, the, the smaller restaurant groups slash, obviously, the single restaurants are, yeah, it's weird. It's, for as much money as you pay, or you think you're maybe even overpaying, Usually there's not that much, like, profit. Even, like, people who work in management, and especially, like, the back of the house, which we've already talked about, like, yeah, it's crazy. I don't know what the solution is. Random, random fact, though, I heard, I heard, like, San Francisco is having actual, like, like, a restaurant industry crisis out there because so many companies have, like, such great, like, food cafeterias slash catering. So, you know, obviously, like, you know, the tech con, like, Silicon Valley stuff <laughs> that, like, it's just, like, the, the, the like no one's going out to eat anymore because, it, you know, like, you can just eat for free at your fancy, you know, tech job, I guess. It's true, though, because, so, so that guy who you took the picture with the shirt, right, earlier I was talking about, um, he works at Airbnb. And so, like, I got to, like, tour their headquarters. And, like, they have, like, 50 tap of, like, beer, wine, like, six different flavors of kombucha, different, like, nitro coffees going on free, right? You just, like, walk up, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna just, like, have a Riesling today, or I'm gonna take it back to my desk, you know? And, and, um, they, I guess they did cut off, like, certain times you could have the alcoholic taps, because oh, some people were going a little, little ham on that, but it originally was free 24-7, and then they have two cafeterias. One that, um, so, like, if you don't, like, three meals a day, right? Three different gourmet cooked meals a day, uh, with, you know, like, paleo and, and keto and, and vegan options too of course and um and so if you don't like the food at that cafeteria you can walk like across the street where their other building is and like see if they have like you know stuff in their cafeteria that you want to eat yeah i don't random random story it was it was cool though it was cool there they have a meeting room with just a bunch of um like it's like a playpen of balls i actually thought that was a joke until i saw it and i was like wow this is this exists But anyway, sorry, that, that's cool of you. I appreciate that. Um, when I was younger and unemployed, Kaomi had the same mentality. He's kind of the one who, like, taught me how cool it is to eat out with your friends and just, you know, like, have a good time. Because in those terms, right, like $20, $25 a week is basically I can buy a video game every two weeks. And if I want a collector's edition, well, I better hang on for a while, right? I better wait till Christmas for that. Um... So, basically, yeah, he, like, anytime we wanted to go out, and I was like, I don't, man, I don't really want to, I can't spend money on food, you know, it's just not cost effective. Yeah, he would treat me. He was, like, he was, I mean, he still is generous and a good guy, but, like, that meant a lot to me, you know, when I couldn't afford it. Like, now it's, now it's the thing that I can do every once in a while, and I really do enjoy it, but because, he, like, kind of taught me to 
enjoy experience and like I mean it's kind of uh, arguably a millennial mentality where you like pay for experiences and memories um, you know and, and like that's and I think that's cool you know like traveling or whatever versus uh, I don't know maybe more physically material things but yeah so I appreciate from that he <laughs> oh no emotions uh, he actually like if you like ever need like an example of like you know like a good friend status I really wanted shoes that weren't like $20 shoes from Target because that was all my family could afford at the time and I was like I, I just like really want Skechers like I just want because like I don't know whatever we could get from like Target or Walmart for $20 they were always like off color or like uncomfortable or whatever and I was like man I would just really love a pair of black Skechers and and Kiyomi show like just sent them to my house one day like, they were only, like, 40 or 60 bucks. Like, you know, kind of semi-normal trainer cost shoes, unless they're designer. <laughs> and, like, yeah. Like, my shoes are, like, old and torn up and ratty and... I don't know, like... Like, what kind of friend buys you shoes when you need... I don't I just, like... That was... That that got me. That one got me. Sorry, I'm getting a little off-topic. Just, just... Off... Off-game, I guess. Occasional dono for no fun music. Ha! <laughs> Uh, Y'all, I might make that that additional goal real high though. <laughs> Generation, <laughs> girls' generation. Oh, that's great. That's a good. That's a good idea. You have to play it for properly. Oh, Lord. Ooh, yeah. No lawyer. Okay, so. Oh no, I'm getting on intensity. My my friend, he he's. A semi semi famous like Instagram photographer, and so I thought he was doing it full time, but he's not. He actually works as a lawyer in um, Albuquerque, and um, and it was like, oh wow, you're a lawyer. So I'm thinking like, oh, he must be making gank bank gank. He must be making bank. But like, it really depends what kind of lawyer you are, right? Like private practice lawyers can make really really good money, especially in like depending on like you know what city you know district or whatever but like state lawyers especially ones who are it's not the prosecutor it's like the public defenders man dude it can it can be bad like 28 like k salary bad like yeah so like that that's like uh that's what i think he is and you know he likes his job and that's great but whew, man that's like something like almost a teacher sound well, that is a teacher's step. Some, I guess it depends where you live. You know, yeah. Everything is everything is relative, and our country's really big. But that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh yeah, they like the the contracting, like the the new wave of let's make everyone contractors to so they don't have better. That's that's another thing. Hopefully, it's getting better. That explains so much about Airbnb. Yeah, it's not super unusual, though. I mean, like, I, I, from what I heard, most companies do that. Like, there were 30k espresso machines, like, just on every single level of the building. It was, it was great. It was, like, you never want to leave, which is kind of the point. <laughs> I like that. Um, someone was, someone was talking about, like, how, you know, their work is, like, humbling and decent and wholesome, and I was like, man, like, only good, like, only, in my mind, like, morally good people can feel, like, you know, good about, you know, kind of, like, simple, arguably monotonous work. I think that's, that's really, like, dope, but it's, it's not necessarily for me. I mean, like, the large reason I went into the restaurant industry is because I just need variety and interaction but of course I'm an introvert so it like it's still not 100% compatible <laughs> no I've <laughs> semi related I've like actually thought about just like like seeing if one of my friends wanted to get married just so I could have like health insurance <laughs> you know <laughs> like <laughs> you bro hook me up <laughs> Okay, I'm totally in <laughs> <clears throat> But, um, what am I saying? 
I have been able to avoid the debt situation, but I think that's in large part due to my family having been in. I mean, technically they still are because of the house, but for the most part, um, a lot they're a lot better. But they had like 60k in credit card debt at one point, and ever since then, I was like, I don't, I don't know if I wanna want to get in that credit card life because that sounds. This sounds tempting, even though, of course, there's so many benefits for doing so, like cash back and stuff, and like flight points, and I'm just like, I don't want to open that can of worms because I don't trust myself. I, I have bad self-control. Like, everyone knows that, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kaomi did buy a house. That's, that's a big deal. <laughs> it was in Varys' basement, too, and like... He was just like every every like every like twelve hours or something. There would just be like a flood suddenly, like sudden flood in one of the rooms. It, it it's it'll be more funny after time has passed and, and things are paid off. It's not it's not funny for them now. I I presume. Ooh, one of my friends semi only semi interesting story he they 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 live in like a condo or something it's like two floors and um like th they're part of it and they're like one of their basically so like on their balcony to water the plants they have um i don't know a water line and it burst and it flooded like their entire first floor um <laughs> Yeah, and apparently, I don't know, I assume this is true, but when you have water damage, you never want to call it flooding, because flooding is filed under, like, a separate insurance, and if you don't specifically buy flooding insurance, they won't cover you, so you always have to say water damage, and hopefully that helps someone in life. Hopefully it's not me, but anyway, that was interesting. That's an interesting note. They, they lived in a hotel for almost six months now because of what happened. Ooh, that would be rough, man. You know what was crazy? When I was in San Diego, the, the Omni that we stayed at, which is like a four-star hotel, it didn't have a fridge. I was so mad. What kind of, like, decent hotel doesn't have a fridge? They had a Keurig. I mean, I guess that's becoming slightly more standard. But I love fridges. Like, like leftovers is how you survive on a con weekend. <laughs> Kaomi. Shut up, Kaomi. I'm talking here. Welcome back, Mr. Dante. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I was probably talking the whole time. You code, too? Wait, wait. Financial an analysis and coder? No wonder. No wonder you're doing well. Tech is great. Tech's a great industry to be in. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Kaomi works for RTD, which I guess, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell everyone that, but I told everyone that. It's the same thing that my dad does. Um, and they are perpetually short on people by, like, they're, like, basically always a fifth understaffed. So it's not something that can be solved with a couple people. It could be solved with, like, maybe 60 people being hired and somehow all those 60 people stay. Um, probably, you know, like, which they don't because the schedule is not flexible and you almost, you're basically guaranteed to work six days a week repeatedly with no choice and also you don't really get the schedule you want until you work there for several years and yeah that's why i don't get to play with kaomi anymore <laughs> we will on saturday we'll play overcooked on saturday oh making software okay no i like the fancy title that it's even better that you know math and coding though that's actually kind of attractive my weaknesses Ugh. makes you look exactly no yeah my so so what's varus yeah varus was in um computer comp sci actually so was wings um but if i recall varus dropped out because he got a job in his field without having to complete his degree which is the real dream honestly but he still has he still has student loans so it's fine you <laughs> know it's fine <laughs> Like, he's still, he's still, it's still like he went to college, except he just doesn't have anything to show for it, you know? <laughs> except the skills, which was important, because that was what actually secured him the job, so. Anyway. Hmm. We gotta finish this game tonight. <clears throat> right? It, I'm not, how far am I from ending? <laughs> like, 
Am I really far? Am I gonna have to stream till 2 a.m.? No. It's only, it's only, it's only 8. I'm probably, what? Are you, you're, are you trolling me? I, I was told I could do this in two streams. Your joke, no, that's an exaggeration. I am at least a third. I say this with no knowledge. What the fuck? This is gonna be a three-parter. No! No, they said this was a good place to end! What the fuck? <laughs> no. I mean, it's fine. It's like more good game. That's fine. It's just, I in my head, I had like, I had budgeted it as a two-parter. Yeah, no, that's true. The tangents probably don't help. You didn't. I like talking. I'm sorry. If anything, I want to keep moving just because this uh, this background song is beginning to get to that point in the loop of the infinite loops that I'm just like, nah. Let's not listen to this for another 30 minutes. <laughs> But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of this whole event. Uh, oh, I believe you. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do her best. Our best. But with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and not ski out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um? Eh? You know what? Okay, so you know how I wrote a poem last night, obviously, for the, for the game. I didn't get my CG for the day. Did I mess it up? Because, like, the last few days I'd write a poem, and then they'd have, like, a cute moment, and I'm like, where's my cute moment? I didn't even get a poem from What's-Her-Face. Is this the moment? No, it's not the moment. It's probably not the moment. She probably just wants to talk about me choosing her, but I'm like, I feel like I wasn't good enough. Like, my poem wasn't good enough to trigger the CG effect. I only come for the tangents. Okay. <clears throat> I turn around. Sorry, I just realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then, Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Huh? My house? I is that a problem? N no, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh oh, I suppose that makes sense. But, if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I think these are, like, catching a slight echo on my voice. Put them farther away. She put her shoulders... I know. Oh, hey, Q. Hey, Q. Hey, Q. I need, I need better posture. But then, like, my head's cut off if I sit too high. I did the- I did the 69, but I'm a little, like, you know, like, the frame is more wide, so... It's clearer, though. I'm told it looks better. <laughs> self -editing. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Sorry, kitty. Kitty. Kitty, kitty. Don't underestimate yourself, Kor. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me- only if you- even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? Mm, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you might have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense! I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But- but- Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. You're- you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Um, I- I didn't realize- I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Oh, man. I- I- I mean, I- I really do sympathize with, like, you know, that whole self-doubt circle. But as sometimes, like, the other- the person on the other end, like, the protagonist in this case, it can kind of sometimes be frustrating when you're, like, trying to get someone to believe you, but, you know, because of their own, like, you know, uh, mental state, they won't. I'm just like, just, like, for me, it can, it can sometimes, and this is occasionally misguided and projected, it can sometimes feel like a lack of respect. Like, don't you respect me enough to tell you the truth, you know? But, well, you are really warm, cat. Oh, God, so warm. So much warmth. Okay. Messy, messy. Hold on. Hold on, wait, wait. Is it the cue? 
Oh no, every time I put this up. Kitty. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Back to it. Back to it. Um, <clears throat> do you believe me? I, Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Can't imagine going to school six days a week, yo. Like in the Japanese school system. Even if the Saturday is technically a shorter day. Like, between the computer and, like, the cat, just... And the fact that I'm wearing a slightly, like, thicker hoodie thing. Man. After that exchange, I make the way out the door, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! Yuri is gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots to the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Aw, he excited. He excited. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an, uh, oops. Yuri is clearly an introvert and an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting in case, texting occasionally. <clears throat> she was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Uh-oh. Bad end! No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hulu and commitment. <laughs> I decide to- wait. People with Hulu subscriptions, do you like them? Like, what's, what's good on there? Because I normally don't hear anything about it. Like, I normally hear about Amazon and... HBO. And obviously Netflix. But not Hulu. I don't hear what... <gasps> you guys know... Okay. This maybe isn't your jam, because it's like... Technically, it's geared... I would say it geared, it's geared a little bit more towards, like... Females. <laughs> maybe some of you are. You know, that's cool. That's cool. I welcome... I welcome it all. But, there's this new show on Amazon that's trending called Fleabag, and it's so good, guys. It is so good. Like... Like, it's just, like, really witty and intelligent, and we saw the trailer the other day, and I'm tempted to play it again, but it has that, like, fourth wall breaking of, like, House of Cards, but it's just more, I don't know, it's interesting, and, and the episodes are short, they're, like, 25 minutes long, and there's, like, only, like, I don't know, eight or ten of them in a season, and it was, I don't know, I, I haven't watched a TV show in so long, but me and my friends binged it the last week. Clay showed it to me originally, and then... And then I was like, oh yeah, let's watch more of this together. And then, and then I may have just like went home and watched it, you know, I, I basically went home and was like, I was like, guys, we've got to watch the show. And like Lynn and I were at Chloe's place when we saw like the first few episodes and like couldn't really stop till like 11. And then, and then like, uh, what happened? And then, oh yeah, yeah. So I got like Ferris and, and like Wes. And then it was like me and Lynn rewatching the first part. And then we basically watched the first season in like two days or something. And Yeah, I'll show you the show. I'll show you the show. Again. I, the, apparently this first, second season's better than the first season, but like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I thought, I thought they're both really good. I haven't finished the second season. We're in like three episodes and the pilot episode. <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> I... <laughs> I just, the second half, the first episode of season two is so good. It's literally just two minutes of a trailer. It's just, it's just, you, it's fine. I believe in us. You know that feeling when a guy you like sends you a text at two o'clock on a Tuesday night asking if he can come and find you. And then you open the door to him like you've always forgotten he's coming over. Oh. Oh my god, definitely not. That does nothing for you. 
What? These are my clothes, Boo. I've been wearing these all day. It's really not that bad at all. Oh, what are you doing? You've got them all by the balls, causing waterfalls. How did you meet them? She used to be our godmother. But then their parents split up. Mum died. You really are very good looking. Thank you. Very. Thank you. Very. Thank you. It's been really nice to spend the day with a normal family. The only thing harder than having to tell your super high-powered, perfect, anorexic, rich super sister that you've run out of money is having to ask her to bail you out. I'm just going to ask her. I'm just going to come. Do you need to borrow money? No. The boys want to be the like other girls you can keep up i should ask you if you want to go out for a drink with me and i'll be sure to treat you like a nasty little bitch um that was a joke oh, no, Sorry. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> okay that was like oh. okay i want to be her so you how'd you two meet Oh, I met her on a bus. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy to pick up girls these days. I was like, hi, and she's like, I'll take my number from me. <laughs> it's awesome. It's okay. You know what, what really makes the show is literally her, her expressions to the camera. You basically want to stare at her face every single time she's on frame. Because, like, she will do these, like, real quick change expressions. Like, even just, like, the single most ridiculous eyebrow raise, it'll, like, flash for, like, a half a second and she'll go back to like straight emotional scene and it, it's really entertaining shut up Kaomi I hope you're cancelled halfway <laughs> um, I, I haven't seen all of The Office but if I compare them directly I think Fleabag's better but maybe it's just because it maybe caters to me more and like how I view and feel about life um, I don't super hyper relate to the protagonist but all of the characters are just really juicy, conflicted, messed up, and redeemable, and also sympathetic, but shitbags. You know, like, it's it's a really, it's just, it's good. I haven't watched it. Shut up. I'm working, okay, we're getting back to it. We're, de we're deciding to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. There's only one ha- No, there's two houses I do that with. That- yeah. I like- I like doing it just to shock my friends. I like to just, like, open the door, which I know is unlocked, and, like, enter without knocking. It's a good feeling. It's good. It makes me feel confident. Um, the house is quiet. Sayori isn't in- isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Kor. <gasps> New clothes! The casual clothes update! I love the casual clothes update. I just announced I'm breaking in. I sit down on her floor. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. <gasps> Is she in pajamas? How do I- how do I close- yeah, oh no. I, th I literally thought those, because, like, you know, the box is polka dotted. I thought she was in, like, cute little pajama pants. Damn. Alright, well, whatever. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I just really like cute pajamas. Like, I know they're not, like, sexy or whatever, but I just, I just, like, they're just so adorable. Just, like, I just want to, like, crap them in my hands. <clears throat> ah, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much really has changed, huh? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. It's not even- it's not even messy. <gasps> that reminds me, I was gonna clean. Oops. Yo. <laughs> I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> have you played this game, Kiyomi? Like, have you played? <laughs> it's- it's a talent. <laughs> I need professions where I can talk a lot about nonsensical things. Wait, did I already say? <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri? Yeah, but wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. 
that last the Kelly's better. Lynn! Hi Lynn! I love you. Okay. <clears throat> Where was I? Uh because sometimes I feel like Lynn mutes me because I always like like I always like call her out and then and then she disappears and so I have to type it. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. Not to guilt you, if, if you heard that. <laughs> but what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri, then. Yep. There's more science between us. Sayori stands in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I, uh, just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, except she's, like, totally hiding it. I think it's actually working. Uh, Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Kor. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express myself. Expressing yourself is not weakness, game. <sighs> if I didn't make that stupid mistake of letting my feelings show, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been even thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori, I grab her by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you even listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other expl explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh. Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Cor, but you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Kor? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste... Sorry, by having them spend it on me. That's what it feels like. And that's why I want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. Oh, God. I like... I, li I mean, I don't want to be like, I like this. Well, you know what I mean. It's good. It's good. This is this is a good moment. They had an earlier one, too, that I really liked when, when Yuri was talking about how, like... I don't know, what's the word... Being liked, I guess, and not having friends and using that. This is deep. Unexpectedly deep. Hmm. Alright, back to the somber note. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me this entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me not to think about her? Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I can do. <laughs> Protag's actually good. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Cora. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. And I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. Feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So, that's why. It's a real feeling, man. Feeling like left out of like, like everyone's getting closer without you. It's like, I actually cannot handle that well. I can, I can handle a good number of, like, I don't know, 
conflicts and like emotional stuff for the most part i would say but like feeling out of the loop with like people i care about is like definitely a big weakness of mine i can get really angsty and like anxious and just mad like not like not directed but like ra radiating anger kind of feelings so i get i <clears throat> get that <clears throat> I need, like, a back brace, man. Alright, here we go. <coughs> That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Kor, there's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you- wait. I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish, that's all I am, and that's why I'm going to accept these punishments, because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once, a grab, once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, Kor. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Kor. <laughs> I should have walked home with her, guys. Not that that solves, you know, these kind of issues, but, you know, I should have been a better friend. But instead, I'm chasing that Yuri tail. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this, Kor. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have it- you have to let me be selfish too. So I don't know if that's really how it works. If she's kind of saying don't do this and her, you're hugging her, that's like a little- like- like a mild yellow flag? But I kind of see the context, like I, I kind of- he's trying to comfort her. But still. Someone tells you to let go, you let go. Alright. Anyway. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. I don't... It's a little slightly misguided, but I understand the sentiment. I, I, I'm kind of against people who are like, I'll make you love me. You know, like, I'll make you feel this. You, like, that's, you, you can't make people feel things. But, like, I get it. He's, you know, he's trying to be helpful. Yeah, he's doing his best. I just, ha I on a personal level just have to point this out, because like I feel like we, I mean we as a collective, not just you guys, but everyone in the world, gets a little brainwashed by media that doesn't like, I don't know, check itself. And so I gotta be like, there's also another way. <clears throat> anyway, and if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Siri pulls her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Siri lets me go, and as she does so, I let her go as well. Uh, the festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, it's what I want, I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah, Sarah wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Uh, maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It'd be fun. To my surprise, Siri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? 
Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. He's <laughs> a rest and restraining order just waiting there. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great ow. Oops. <laughs> Time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, uh, oh, casual clothes! Leggings and sweater. That's basically me. I like it. Two thumbs up. Points to him. <laughs> Thank goodness. Y you're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on to find my way home. Okay, homie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know she's your favorite too. Yeah, I have something in common with Kami. Wait, what are you guys talking about? What did we? What did we do? Wait, you mean the Yuri path? It's true. I, I'm, I'm hoping it happens. It, it seems like it's happening. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right, and you did manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, at least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, a part of me was anxious about these house, like, uh, these house settings because, like, the high school's been safe, so I figured if there's gonna be, like, an oh crap moment, it would happen in a new setting that I haven't seen before, but so far they're just, like, normal happy houses. I don't know how I feel about that. Welcome back, Rob. What the hell happened to the beds? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You, you could watch the bot. <laughs> we were, we were uh, trying to understand how to get emojis. And, um, then, then there was a sub thing and a lot, a lot happened. <laughs> I was guessing. Kiyomi's making me buy him KBBQ, K it's fine. I'll, I'll probably have to do the same with Tommy at some point. What if <laughs> are you throw your wallet? <laughs> so, yeah, it was an experiment. <laughs> oh, yeah. There are like three secret Oprahs right now, or like one maybe not so secret Oprah. They're, fl they're floating around. There's... I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't think there's a single person in here without a sub. Well, I, I don't want to say that now, because like now people are going to be like, Oh, I don't know, but you know, maybe. <laughs> just, it's, it just, yeah. We would have to stop there. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, but anyway, ahem. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around cautiously. Oh no, mascara. This, this is what happens when I cry of happiness, guys. Okay. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. Ooh, I like that she has a bunch of- Wait, these are my- This is my room. I was like, oh, look at her cute room. Like, wait, no, this is too basic for a girl's room in a harem game. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so- he's, he's, like, not in the literature club, but he has all these books. Or are they folders? No, they're books. He said he didn't read. Whatever. He's a liar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that she's in my room, yeah. Get it on. Give her a consented donkey. <laughs> that's very for cons <laughs> What? Oh, that's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm, well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you do pe Is this like a common activity in Japan to like just help people clean rooms when you're over? Yo. Maybe I should have, like, a party in my room where everyone just cleans it for me. That'd be great. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a dress door. Who just opens drawers in people's rooms? I mean, when they're there. You, you obviously open them when they're not there. 
she needs some like sneak lessons. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. I opened your drawers in front of you. Well, I mean, you know me. <laughs> I can't, wait. What does that imply? Um, she put both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track. I don't even, I don't even have drawers in my room. What are you talking about? What? I don't even know what drawers you're talking about. Plus, it's whatever. <laughs> so, um, should we get started? <laughs> Eyebrow. <laughs> uh, yes. All right, guys, she consented. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> um, I have a few other things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. <laughs> atmospheric enhancements. You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course, I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many of them will stop by just out of curiosity, and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. <laughs> That's great. It's easy to forget you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess... I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. Dude. Per like, her hand is so small compared to, like, her chest. I don't know why I just noticed that. Maybe it's just because it's the outfit. Yo, what the... That's crazy to me. That's, that's next level. Like, <laughs> wow. <clears throat> no, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. <laughs> Awkward comic time. Um, is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little here. Relax. I brought some things for relaxations. Oh, hey, David, right? I, I asked my brother which which one of your his friends he was. <laughs> um, I was, I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages around through... No, but like all the hands in this game are tiny. I pointed out with like the even one of I forgot which one. I forgot one of the girls, but like I guess maybe that's just the style. It's kind of distracting though. Uh Yuri rubbish just through her bag, she pulls out a few candles and wooden a will and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use candles to light the room. Wow, she's going, like, spooky ambiance. I didn't want to kiss the I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a dildo. No, sorry. It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. Are you guys into, like, ar aromatherapy? Side tangent? No? Alright, 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 alright. <clears throat> you, you can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. Like, my mom's gotten more into the essential oil thing, and I don't know if I'm, like, if I'm a believer. Like, I'm sure it helps, but I don't notice it. Which maybe is the point, because you don't want to notice it. But, this weed <laughs> Are we enjoying it? <laughs> um, it's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes the switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a t thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Uh, yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow throughout your body. You feel warmer, and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think it will be perfect for sharing our poems? <clears throat> uh, yep, yep, it does sound suitable. 
but you seem to know a lot about this stuff, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying himself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of ribbon. What are those for? Well, I like to tie people up, sorry. Uh, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. A hundred? Oh my god. You know, I, I, I haven't, like, handwritten something in so long. My, like, writing stamina, like, physical writing stamina, is, is like, this small. Like, I could, I could do 20 signatures in my name and then we're done. We gotta call it. I don't know about a hundred, lady. <clears throat> oh, yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut ribbon... I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It sounds like a trip hazard waiting to happen. And also, it'll probably get messed up the first time someone uses it, but... Your eyes are cute. It would also catch the eye of those passing the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you would be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she just more relaxed when it's the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Kor. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I'm finished cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. What the CG? I want the cute CG where they're like leaning over each other and staring at and they're working it and they're like they shoulder bump. I want the CG. Come on, come on, game, give it to me. <clears throat> Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Where's the hand touch? Where's the accidental hand touch too? Come on. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. Yeah, <laughs> Bump into HT. The blade itself is gently tilted. Gently tinted blue. Gently tinted. What? All right. <laughs> that's an interesting adverb there. Um, that's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Oh. Well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. It would be a knife, you know? What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright, the thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> My background of weapons. <laughs> uh, I I used to, like, my nervous habit it was actually to, like, shave my thumb off of my pocket knife. And then I realized, like, I just didn't have any skin left and everything hurt every time I used my thumb. And so I stopped. So that was not my best habit. But I, I get it. I get it. Alright. I have four, four in arm's reach. Just... Just in case, I guess. One of them I actually got from a stranger in the middle of a road. I don't... Uh, did I already tell that story already? That, like... Oh no, tangent territory. Just do your nails like a no, normal... No, I like real. I have a really long nail right now. Can you see it? Look how long it is. It's only those two, because the rest broke. It's because I haven't been working in the restaurant. <laughs> Who needs knives when you, when you have... Stabby things on your hand, I guess. <laughs> it's not a coke nail. Someone asked me that already. <laughs> I don't know. That's why you have short fingernails. And also, it's not like... I don't know if I want to answer this question. <laughs> yeah, I know. I really like like the vampire style nails. Not everyone wipes Jesus. <laughs> but, yeah. This, there was, like, I met this guy at, like, two in the morning in, like, one of my, in an alleyway when I was walking my dog. And he was, like, he was, like, like, yo, you seem like a good person. I feel, like, do you not have any, like, weapon on you? And I was, like, 
Uh, and he was like, he's like, here. And he like, and he holds out this one. Wait, hold on. And he holds it out like this, right? Like he's just like here. But what I saw was a gun, cause it was like two in the morning. He was like thirty feet away from me, and it's like black or whatever. And like, kind of looks like a gun. All right. And I literally thought he was like holding out a gun, like, like right. I was like, I was like, this is it. This is how I die. And and he was literally just he just gave me his knife. He was like, here, you have to take this. It's dangerous out at night. I'm like I don't know. Like sometimes I carry things. Sometimes I don't. I have a dog. And. Not that saying that's like auto protection, but it helps. I, I walk alone at night a lot, but like, he, yeah, it was the one of the most weirdest encounters I ever had. And I was like, no, 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 I think you should keep your knife. You know, like, like it looks like a cool thing, and you know, it, it's yours, and I'm good. You know, so uh, you should, you should keep it. And he was like, he's like, no, you have to take it. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't let you walk away without you taking my knife. And I was like, well, I'm just going to take it. So it's not just like dangling here looking like a weapon. I guess it is a weapon. And uh, so I took it and that was that. And now it's just sitting on my desk. It's a good story. I mean, I didn't really tell it properly. There was a little bit more to it than that. But that's <laughs> never saw him again. But uh, yeah, I've actually had surprisingly positive experience. Have you considered that's evidence? I mean... It's it, not anymore, or if it is, I have a story as to why I had it. Now you have a knife, Dad. You probably... Hey, Rick. Probably has some. I mean, it's mine now. It's great. I think it's cool. It's like, it's curved. I don't know how... That's not probably super effective in terms of, you know, the, the forward plunge, but... I don't know. It, it was, like, too big to fit in my pocket, so I just had to, like, carry it with me the rest of the night. Just, like, all up in my hand. You know, I, I wasn't too far from home at that point. Just, yeah. No, I've, I, so, so I walk my dog late at night because, like, it's cool and, like, the temperature's nice. And, and uh, I usually pick up my dad at, like, 2 in the morning because he works, like, the graveyard shift sort of or whatever. Like, I guess the, he works in the evening. That's not the graveyard shift. But, uh, and, and so I've, I, again, I might be lucky. But I've had a lot of, like, positive experiences from random strangers at that time, despite, like, Colfax. Um, like, I would say the majority of the time when a car pulls up to me, they're asking if I need help. And I was like, that's cool. That's actually, like, really impressive. Oh, it's good feelings. Like, it makes me believe in humanity a little bit. All right, we got the knife. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Sorry, you don't like my stories. <laughs> it's just that... Fine. Fine. You're laughing at me. Yeah. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, uh, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah. It's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool-looking knife. I can't deny that. I always bought really cool wine keys that looked like knives. Like, with really nice handles. It was always worth a couple extra bucks. <laughs> uh, cause that's where my dad gets relieved. So, I have my dog. All right. You know, we just show up. Don't show up one day. You, you know, like know what happened. I guess. <laughs> Sorry, that's more of it. I shouldn't joke about that. Knock on wood. All right. Uh, it is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? In an alleyway. That's where you get a knife like that. Um, uh, curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! He's an idiot after all. Cor, why did you, why did you stab yourself? I didn't expect it to be sharp. What? The little mo? Yeah, that's what I should say in the future when I tell that story. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you that knives are sharp. This knife, in particular, is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like paper. Oh no. 
Why does she know that? Why does she know that? That was the play. <laughs> that was the move. It was the one-liner. The classic give give a person a knife in an alleyway pickup. Yeah. What? <laughs> a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. Uh, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, without warning, Yuri puts- Oh, the classic finger in her mouth move. Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the- I, That has never happened to me in, like, the history of my entire life. People just- I guess people just don't start bleeding in front of me that often either, to be fair. <laughs> Suck that. It, I, I will say that, like, randomly, finger-sucking can be erotic, so I get it. I get it. <laughs> Hemo freak. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... <sighs> Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? It's pretty embarrassing. It's, it's pretty embarrassing proper procedures. I'm sorry. I'm so- uh, Sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yeah, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover for this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand <laughs> and lick her index finger in return. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Car! Did, did you really just do that? No, we're even, okay? Uh, Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. <laughs> Initiating D. <laughs> You're so weird, Kor. Yuri you're, you're giggles shyly. Huh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, I've already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut, knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. I would recommend scissors for ribbon, but you know... You like knives, girl. Y you do you. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Step three, physical contact. <laughs> After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. Looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, oh, that's right. Paint tablets. Wow. Wow, that's that's childhood. I hate those things. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. It's it's so messy, and then you have like I don't know, like you have to, you feel like you have to use the whole thing, and like what do you do with the rest of the water? And and sometimes you accidentally drink it because you like forget which one's the mug with your coffee in it. And, you know, it's like you put your brush in the coffee, and I no, I mean I don't paint much anyway, but I remember the tablets just being really annoying. Watercolor wasn't for me in general, but Lynn, she watercolors and it's really good, and you guys should check it out. That's all I'm saying. All right, back to the game. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back to my room. Oh, yeah, Easter egg dye. That's true. I mean, that's that's fine. It like it like the the paint for that stuff is is you know it's going to be shitty if you bought it for $2 anyway. So, kind of miss those like fa like my family doesn't do much for holidays, but I kind of miss the idea of doing stuff, even though sometimes the actual doing can be tedious. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. G girl a masochist? 
Is she depressed too? Oh my god, they're what if they're all depressed? Oh my god. <sighs> this game, this game, it's not shit's gonna happen in this game. That's that's what I know for sure. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh nope, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. Nothing bad. <laughs> Kaomi, if you're still there, do you know if Ferris is, like, still in the deep throes of D&D? &D? Or if he's... Yeah, whatever. I don't know how long it's gonna go. He said, like, nine, right? Okay. Um, anyway. I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium in front of the classroom. Neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you, Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. It is. Sometimes I will actually spend way too much time doing really big, complicated paint by numbers, be even though it's like really simplistic, just because it's like therapeutic in a sense. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Deep doki doki. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself, Rated M for fun <laughs> For me, I don't feel the need to go and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. Preach. Also, sometimes it's expensive. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I like... Even though I'm charmed by, like, the kind of, like, higher maintenance, really sparkly, super popular, like, female characters or whatever, or male characters, um, I feel like, realistically, it would just be too much for me. Plus, that's kind of sometimes already my personality, and it might be flashy, but, like, Loki is great. Loki is awesome. <laughs> Disorganized shelter community. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like comedically disorganized. Like, as if he did it on purpose. Just because he didn't want his room to look too clean, because that'd be suspicious. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happier. I think I feel the same way. Yeah, he doesn't even read. <laughs> Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Thanks for, show me. Thanks for trash humans. Agree. Um, uh, admittedly, I do have more books that I haven't read than I've read. So that's kind of a point of shame in my room. But, you know, they're on the list. Um, Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Okay, so it's not the hand touch, it's the head touch. Yeah! <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. That was hard. Sorry. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just... Startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Uh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. Oh, is it? Huh. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. Yeah, I like that. It's been pretty wholesome so far, honestly. I mean, not that non-wholesome is, you know, time and place, all right? Non-wholesome is when you, uh, you need a guilty pleasure, a midnight snack. <laughs> uh, but wholesome is just good, like, 24-7. It's like why people watch Disney movies, even though they're, like, adults. Because it's just nice. Good times. All right. Return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. <gasps> There's the CG! It happened! Witch head. <laughs> Toki multiplied. Here. Look at her cute, watery eyes. Oh my god. 
they i don't know if all the girls are drawn like this well especially their eyes but they've been really like killing it in the eye department in the in these cgs oh the pleading desperate face oh, yeah. you missed out on natsuki's house Ooh, she hates me she didn't even give me her poem big donkeys <laughs> i pat down yuri's face and neck with a towel ah oh. Is something wrong? Look how tiny my hand is! That ain't gonna work when, uh, when the real doki start. Logistic issues. <laughs> Are they gonna... <laughs> um, it's hot. I just didn't expect... <laughs> These innuendos are actually pretty good. It's time for the consensual sale. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books, almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What? is happening <laughs> is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was a moment ago ah uh, yuri slowly pulls away sorry i've been feeling a little lightheaded today i didn't mean to space out it's fine it's fine, that's fine, you can, you can do all uh, you want to, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you know, sort, yeah. The moment is over as soon as it begins. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just tr transpired. You can always talk about it, I'm just saying talking is always an option. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it! I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it was very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the exalt. Ex exalt. <laughs> yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't it take a while? Well, perhaps it'll be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Um, wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Whew. <laughs> you can say that like... You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. She cooks! She cook. What? What? What are you guys doing? Uh, so, you don't have any time left. Wait, how do you guys know this? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time to finish after- Is it because I didn't write my poems good enough? Well, Yuri thinks to herself. With how much she likes knives? No, she I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry, I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. I feel like I'm disappointing her. I don't even know what I'm disappoint- What? <sighs> Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. Oh yeah, no, that's great. That's great. It's, it's, it's a good one. What? What is happening? <laughs> I feel really in the dark. Um, it sounds like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Unless it is? Question mark? When Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I was glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait! I kind of say it without thinking. About today. 
it's fine if we didn't have as much time as you wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want, we can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Ugh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, uh, you don't know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Kor. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Oh, she got big. All right. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't want to give it a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori! Eh? Uh, hi, Kor. Sayori. Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Kor. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? What, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Of course! Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hears, I'm starting to think that every ending's bad. <laughs> Have faith. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come see here and, s here and see it for itself. See what? What are you talking about? You know... How much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Kor? I'm supposed to be happy for you. There is no good ending. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? There's never a good ending in harms because you're always going to disappoint cute people, all right? Or attractive or cool or whatever people. You know? I'm just saying. It's always sad unless there's a really good harm ending. Then it's less that's sad. Less sad. But then sometimes those endings feel like a cop-out too. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sarah, don't say that. It's true. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Um, Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden on my mind you're making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes a entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... So he looks away. I've put a hand on my shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sorry. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Core. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And... And... That's enough. I don't want you to be hurt anymore. I slide my da hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember when I, how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. <sighs> That's rough, you know? Yeah, feelings that you like someone more than someone likes you <laughs> really suck. Yeah, you're always... <laughs> I mean... Oh, bye that guy. Oh, I'm going in. What are you... <laughs> Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... No. I... I... I'm, I have a one-track mind with this. I can't. She's great. No, say, oh. Fine. Wait, how do I say, oh, that's not the right one. Thanks, that was a good, that was a good, all right. Yeah, no, I want to. I mean, I like her, but like, I don't like her as much as she likes me, and I'm not gonna like fake it, you know what I mean? Exactly, I don't, I don't, like, it, 
you've got to draw boundaries. You have to get, you can't just force into a relationship that you're feeling lukewarm about, guys. <laughs> you, even if it screws you, apparently. <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> okay. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know it's best and will, will make you happy in the end. That's a little... I don't know if I feel like... Let me decide your feelings in life for you. But, you know, I guess she's in a dark place and maybe maybe your friend... I mean, he does want what's best for her. He's good enough to, like, you know, at least want that for her. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. Sarah faces a smile and through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? Damn. <laughs> Your life's Sayori's innocence. I should write a poem about this. Sayori, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? You, but, like, I feel a little guilted. Like, I feel, like, a little guilted for not cheating. Not from you guys, and this is, well, kind of a little bit, but not, like, mostly, like, like, I know what she wants, but if I can't give it to her, I shouldn't feel guilty, you know? There's, like, those people that will kind of, like, emotionally manipulate you into relationships that you're not sure you want, and it's, like, not good, all right? It's not good. That's boundaries. <laughs> yeah, you just can't like like let another person like live your life for you, you know? I no longer feel doki. Um, so please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time there's no happiness for me down that path. That's why I came here, just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I just don't. I just want to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really know, you really do know me better than anyone, Kor. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Siori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. What? Why is she screaming? I'm not gonna replicate the scream. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Uh, Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do now is support Sayori through her feelings and help her down the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Yo! Yo, Gamer104. Um, even though I can't conf- con can't he blah 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 blah, what was it saying? <laughs> Hold on. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are going back to the way they are. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sori will always be my dear friend. My my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Is this gonna, I, is she, is she gonna like write the darkest poem of her life? <sighs> okay. That was, that was a little hard. Okay. Alright. DJ. Got it. That was a little hard to get through. Oh. I'm gonna, like, slap myself or something to, like, get through the next part. Uh, it's the day of the festival. Wait, I thought we were supposed to be hanging out on the day of the festival. <laughs> Sorry. Well, well, was that, like, a triple stack? <laughs> Thank you, three Oprahs. Thank you. The the triple Oprah went to the rescue. Oprah's Oprah squ squared is no, that's not right. Math is hard. Um, <clears throat> cute, cute. Thank you. We need a sub ninja. So I have a question: When you give like sub gifts, um, like anonymously, do you still get access to like the badge thing? Like, but you just it's like hidden or no? i uh, just curious. Okay, back to the thing. Um, of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to schools with Sayori, but Sayori is an answering phone. We were supposed to spend the day together, guys! 
Um, <clears throat> I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Uh, I think the first one's five, right? Oh, and also, wait, did I rethink think the Oprah's? I did, I did think the Oprah's. <laughs> Anonymous loses on the... <laughs> DJ's, like, scared. He's like, alright, well, I'm out. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. <clears throat> Core! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early! That's not me. <laughs> That's funny. I'm never early. I mean, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing the little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared to have all the poems we're performing. It's kind of quiet. Where's, where's my, where's my looping background music? Where's it at? In the end, I found a random poet on poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she um overslept again. No music for bad ending. That dummy. <laughs> You'd think that on days this important, she'd, um, try a little harder, I say. But I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? <gasps> guys, guys, I just realized, I, I remembered, I have this giant avocado plush? I was just thinking, I needed a pillow for my back. I mean, this one's a little thick, but, like... <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. It's the greatest thing. It's like my my prized possession that I keep right on the floor because I don't because plushes are giant and I don't have enough. Oh look, oh that one out. Oh then I don't know. Hold on, wait. We're <laughs> like It's a pancake! Eh? Look at the butter. Look at the butter. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I know. I saw it on Instagram. I had two, and then I had to buy it. But it was on sale, so. And then I have another one, but it's at Super House. I have so many plushes that... And then I have... Wait, wait. This one's not as cool, but I like it. This is, like, one of my favorite emojis. All right, I got distracted. <clears throat> yeah, no, the pancake is a, it's a thick stack. <laughs> Red is super depressed. I love them. I love avocados. Thanks, Nightbot. Anyway. <clears throat> you should take a little responsibility for her core. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? What are the... These girls are gossips. I mean, I understand. <clears throat> I mean, that's that's what Superhouse is for, you know, to tell everyone else about what you're talking to outside of Superhouse. And, yeah, you report back. But, like... I'm suspicious waking up until I get a jump scare. Um, of course I do. Uh, the club, the club president, after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sarah really tell her about that quickly? How, about how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? That, that mentality is cancer. Anyway, um, geez, you don't know the full story at all. So don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Uh, Monica is being friendly as usual. For some reason, I felt a chill down my spine hearing that. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Tommy, you lied! You said you were done! <laughs> I didn't know you could do- Whoa! Look at the four icon! That's what's up. Quad icon all across the chat box. I lied hours <laughs> You're a liar! If anything happened, I will clip it. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Thank you. Thank Nightbutt says thank you, except I don't have a command for that. I'll make it. I'll make one just for you, Tommy. O Oprah cubed. Uh, yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh, yeah, they really did. No, that's when you know we're... <laughs> <laughs> a little, little desperate for viewers. <laughs> <We're> like... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Need more friends? We have truly. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they perform during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the ones who's practice. Oh no! Oh no, it's a sad. I bet it's, I bet it's the sad. It's a sad. It's one I haven't read before. take sip of water I'm gonna let you absorb this because I don't think I'm gonna repeat this this many times oh man okay here this is the last part <clears throat> get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you Ooh. get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me get out of my head before I show you how much I love you get out of my head before I finish writing this poem but a poem is never actually finished it just stops moving it's dangerous shit right here <clears throat> I'm not gonna get stabbed is this school days? uh what is this? reading this poem I get a pit in my stomach Core? what's wrong? No, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. Has written. But more than that, uh, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori. So, uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? Let's just run right to her. Let's just do that. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. Where's the music? It's like kind of creepy. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help wake her up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to her school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and not what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I really would like some music. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened my door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house, isn't that something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside of Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Oh my god, my heart is actually, like, kind of pounding. Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want her to have to enter a room like this. Isn't this kind of a breach in privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. God, I'm getting anxiety. I gently open the door. Oh my god! F <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. That was good. <laughs> it's literally dank and rough. <laughs> God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh jeez. Oh, God. What are you doing? I know, jeez. Caffeine is bad for this show. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sarah wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. <sighs> I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sarah I would be there for her. I told her I know it's best that everyone would be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession. That must have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she did to me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. <laughs> my swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. I, if I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Oh, God. <laughs> we made a bad choice. It's, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't game you to have like to like make you choose your childhood friend like that's that's not i mean unless it still happens even if you do choose her but like <laughs> permit me to send clip how do i do that send wait isn't you can just make it right you don't have <laughs> that someone i grew up with she's gone forever now nothing i can do to bring her back this isn't some game where i can reset and try something different i only had one chance and i wasn't careful i'll show you i can't reset 
Oh, sorry. Sorry, my bad. Hold on. She, oh, I sm Hold on, <laughs> let me try that again. Second time's the charm. There, okay. And now I'll carry this guilt with me for the rest of my life. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me, and now I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. <laughs> and... <laughs> Oh, God. What did we do wrong? I take it I didn't select her. Oh, gee. What the fuck? Is this a game glitch? What? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? <sighs> do I start? A new one, or do I load? All the way? Start over all the way. This one. This... I feel like you're trolling me. Oh, God. Jesus. I am... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. I had to... Never eat run plays, isn't that great? I had, like, a... Yeah, no, I'm still shaking a little bit. Too bad I have to... <sighs> I understand why you're, like, trying to have a pal before. I guess I was kind of close. Can I... Do I... Can I hit the skip? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's creepy. It's it's literally creepy. I see an annoying girl running from the distance, waving in her arms like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... <laughs> My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you would never see yourself making today because it just kind of works out because you've known each other so long. Is her, is her image going to be, like, super creepy? Oh, God. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Um, are you sure I shouldn't just load my safe? Because... <laughs> But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better running away. However, I sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh, jeez! This is literally terrible. This is the worst thing. Oh, God. I didn't know I was playing a scary game. I knew it was, like, creepy, but I didn't know it was, like, scary. Oh, well, then let's continue. Don't load, keep going. <sighs> Why? God, just, if they could just give, like, a slight alteration to how quickly things pop up. <sighs> okay, it's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friends groups walking to school together. There. <laughs> Meanwhile, I always walk to school alone. I don't even want to like my this anymore. <laughs> I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. <sighs> There's always someone in the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. The school is as any ordinary as near It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There aren't really any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me. I want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club core. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay. Okay. We're safe. Whew, okay. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> oh, my best girl. She is she the only girl? Like like if I select any, but then say. This is like giving me anxiety. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I think I need some music. I think I need some girls' generation right about now. No, I think so. I think they have been. I mean, there's like, there's like the humorous, like, that, I mean, <laughs> oh, this is why I don't play scary games. I hate jump scares. I really thought it was just like I really thought it was gonna be just like, like goryish. You know, like I thought it was. I mean, I I did expect like things to hit the fan, but I didn't expect it to like 
scared jump scare me. God, I hate jump scares. <clears throat> I mean, I don't even know how you spoil that sort of like twist in a. I mean, um, the, not the dead twist, the like the glitch twitch, which I twitch, which is actually kind of, um, which is actually kind of unique. Okay, <clears throat> Monica. Oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. <clears throat> it's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... I kind of just want to choose everyone else but her out of spite now. Um, uh, wait, 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 wait. what did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking at some supplies to use for my club. Oh my god, are we never gonna see Sayori again? Oh, that, that's, that'd be a cool twist. Uh, do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really, you quit. Yeah, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Uh, in that case, what club have you decided to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know how to get through this. <sighs> um, a literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of... dull? How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> well, we're down one. We're down... We're down a member. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. Does that count work in my head? Oh, no. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, riotry, riotry, poetry, death. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga's literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Even, did she say she? Oh. Hmm. Hey, Kor, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? That's good. Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. <laughs> awesome! You're really sweet, Cor. You know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we both go then? Don't mind me. Breathing heavily. I'll look for materials another time. You're more important. Oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, we're safe. Screen, the, the screen switches are like... <laughs> And thus today marked the day I sold my Soto Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third year classes and activities. I'm like scared anytime I don't see a person on screen because I feel like they're just gonna flicker. I hate that. Oh my god, shut up, Phil. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm back! I'm still scared, actually. Where's the next kid? And I brought a guest with me! Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> eh? Girl one? Oh wait, that's because we don't know her name yet. Uh, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Core. Mmm. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Am I just gonna kill them all in this game? You know, like technically it's not like my responsibility, but I'm just I'm just saying. Is this like a 
like elimination sim. <clears throat> so let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual, and this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Wait. Wait, say- Ow! Ow, I bit my tongue. Ow. Sayori was the vice president originally, right? Huh. Huh. <clears throat> it's nice to meet you. Or was it always Yuri? Yuri, who appears com 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 comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. Both of you. <laughs> so I ran into Cora in a classroom, and he decided to come and check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, you know, well... Sorry, sorry! I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be great! Why don't you come sit down, Cor? Oh god. Oh god, screen... <laughs> screen time. <laughs> <clears throat> The girls have a few desks to arrange a table. Yuri walks to the corner room and opens the closet. Please don't be anything in the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other, still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. I thought you had a, had a fourth girl. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. <sighs> but it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident we can really grow this club before we graduate. I'm like so on edge, man. Three parts is, uh, three parts is sounding like a real good idea. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, probably what's going to be happening anyway because it's it's yeah we're, we're getting to the times oh god <laughs> I'm, I'm like i don't vi vibrating sounds dirty but like i am vibrating <sighs> is resident evil 2 better or worse than this in like the scary department I can't believe I'm playing this game. If I knew it had jump scares, I would have just gave it a hard no right away. It's scare- jump scares are scary. I don't care whatever else is. Like, the- the, like, dead people thing is fine. Especially if it's anime, because, like, it's less realistic for me. But, like, the glitches are actually freaky. I guess Resident Evil 2 is worse. <laughs> Thanks, Horde, I know you got my back should save you no i i want to get i want to like get a little further unless you think this is a good stopping spot like i don't know if there's the same number of days in this creepy ass timeline but like if there is i want to at least like end on a day or something it actually reminds me a little bit of i haven't even seen slash read all of this one but you know higarashi like when they cry or whatever it reminds me a little bit of that except like i feel like this one really works to take your guard down. Whereas, like, Hirashi, it's always just a little creepy. Stop and never play it again. Hanging Grill was the best spot. Was the best stopping spot? Oh, well. Well, that's too late. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting a tea cut down the middle. You keep a whole tea set just in this classroom? Would rehook you in wanting to know what's left. I was thinking the end of the day, or you think that's bad. Like, the end of whatever this day has in store for me. If it's even a day. Because, like, I want to go a little bit further, like, but no more than, like, maybe 30 minutes. I have a lot to do, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Ferris was like, it's like, oh, you could probably do this in, like, two, like, three, four-hour chunks, maybe. 
I guess it's I guess it's my fault because I end up talking about stuff that's unrelated, but uh, <clears throat> don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea and help you enjoy a good book? Uh I guess. <laughs> I will say even though, like, they're handling the repetition well and it hasn't really even been that long, as someone who's reading the lines, it does feel slightly more tedious, like, like, reading the lines verbally, I mean, than if I was just, like, clicking through them myself, because if it was myself, I would just, like, be speed clicking through this. Maybe. So, not three hours of playing, 15 hours talking. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not- I'm still picking your- Bitch. <clears throat> Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri sm faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Cora, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Let's go with manga. I muttered to myself, half-joking. I can't take it. Um, I mean, yeah, no, if you need to- Wait, are you- you okay? Wait, uh, do I need- uh, uh, are, are you alright? Is everything fine? Or- No, I mean, I- it, any, oh, What was I saying? Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but suddenly keeps quiet. Uh, not much of a reader, I guess. Well- that can change. I, so I feel like every time Sayori, who apparently no longer exists right now, has a line, something scary happens, and I don't remember when they all happened. It would be less tedious now. <laughs> Good night, Komi. Love you. Um, let's see. What am I saying? Yeah, I, I mean, they did put, like, the trigger warnings at the very beginning of it, but that was obviously, like, a stream ago. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. Um, you take care of yourself first. Uh, I feel shaken, but not for necessarily super relatable reasons, so I can't imagine, you know, that sort of thing. Kitty, come here. C give me comfort. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Well, I guess they're... No, I'm not gonna go down that path. Um, anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels and bu that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. This level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid but since that moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep- I thought I was gonna play replay this for like whatever other outcomes I could get. I don't know. I don't know if that's happening, guys. <laughs> Um, let's see, uh, us stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of ma imagination to completely throw you for a loop? <sighs> I read that the first time, and... <sighs> okay, okay. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I, uh, read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation. Oh my god! <sighs> I'm so tense. <laughs> Is it just me or did she pop up faster? <laughs> like what? Oh my god. Ow. <sighs> this is bad for my heart. It's just Monica. <laughs> it's just Monica. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <sighs> okay, okay. <clears throat> I need, like, a really relaxing shower after this. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. A brief moment, she says. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over for me for a split second. 
Never mind. <laughs> That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Oh, I hope the poems change. That would be cool. I mean, I said that earlier, but now that it's actually groundhog daying me a little bit. Yeah, now I really want different poems. <laughs> what? Th what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. I'm so scared. And give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. <laughs> Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Man, now that I'm like... I definitely think that writing is better than I was giving it credit for in the first in the first game. Because, like, when you do stories that, like, have a timeline like this, it really has to last, you know? And you have to be able to look at it, it's, like, different nuances, right? Like, the way I read it the first time is going to be different than I read the second time, and, and if it keeps going, then maybe the third time, but... That's clear. That's legit. Um, the truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your own vulnerabilities, and showing the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable to, sh to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Eh? Oh no. Is it scary? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go, all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, uh, I mean, I, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members since they're down a member. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Kor? Hold on, there's still one problem. <laughs> What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I've bluntly come forth with something on my mind this entire time. I never said I would join this club! Oh, I thought he was gonna say something else. Okay, we're good. <sighs> Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Huh. Huh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Cor. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members, but I just keep accidentally killing them. That's how I read that. Um, and if we don't find one more before the festival... Uh, hold on. Let me, like, mute notifications maybe for a second. Oh, maybe, oh, I just need to open it. Oh, okay. Ahem, <clears throat> where were we at? <clears throat> before the festival... That didn't, that didn't do it. Okay. Where were we? Uh, <clears throat> I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. <clears throat> so if writing poems are the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Ooh, who am I walking home with today? If, if, you know... One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that? Yep, it could be fun, right? I'm sure it's... sure it's a hoot. You really did scare me for a moment, you're telling me. I mean, if you just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Cor, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? A great time. Um, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting that we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. 
core. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the star class, ca class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the other girls continue to chit chat as Yuri poses the. What? As Yuri cleans up the seat set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. See you tomorrow then. No one to walk home with. I can't wait. Oh god. Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. Okay. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my wine wanders back and forth between the three girls. Uh oh. Uh oh. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day in s after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh god. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. <laughs> and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Scared, 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 scared. <laughs> what? I'm gonna... Yes? Jesus. Okay. Did... <laughs> Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how Black Square feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, so I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. Hmm. Click. Whew. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's lonely. All right. Well, <clears throat> I think this part will hopefully be easy. We'll go with tragedy. <clears throat> Eternity. Raindrops. Oh no, I'm accidentally selecting her again. I don't know if I want to do that. It's just, I had the thing... Should I should I try and get the other girl now? <laughs> Pure? I, I'm indecisive. Be faithful? I don't know if this game rewards faithfulness. Well, actually, no, I see what you mean. <laughs> I mean... I mean, it rewards faithfulness with the wrong partners, I guess, that I chose. Um, I, I, I was curious why there wasn't a Monica thing now, and now I'm like, huh. Alright. Unstable. Unstable makes sense. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flee. Portrait. Not going to select horror. This music's too happy for how I feel right now. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Whew. I mean, I think we could do one more day. I think we can do one more day. Is one more day, is one day more acceptable? Unless, is this day really long? I don't, I can't, I can't imagine it's that long. Especially since I'm reading a little faster since I've read some of these lines before. I think I could handle one more day. No? No one more day. What's the oof? What's the oof mean? Alright. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Tommy. Thanks for everything. Uh, you know, we're not gonna well, I'm gonna let myself sleep at least at some point. I mean, I stay up pretty late, but I just have some stuff to do after this. Okay. One more day. Hopefully it's not too long. <clears throat> oh, you do think it's a good stopping point? I mean, Tommy is leaving, and he is Oprah cubed. I'm thinking about it. I mean, I could... At the same, a part of me just wants to get it over with because I'm already scared. <laughs> you stitch. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna mosey. I'm gonna mosey a little bit more. I'm gonna mosey a little more. See how it goes. Am I? <laughs> Hi again, Cor. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> 
She's crazy. She's crazy. I knew she was crazy, guys. <clears throat> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back in the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else. Oh my goodness! <sighs> Alright, maybe we're not gonna move on. <laughs> God. That is. That is actually terrible. This game is terrible. Like, why do people play this? I mean, I understand why people watch people play it, but. I <clears throat> I had, like, just let my guard down. It knows. <clears throat> Thanks for keeping your promise, Cor. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. This is gonna give me nightmares. <clears throat> I am super not playing this on Saturday. <laughs> I need a break. <sighs> Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what. This is a good subversion, like solid subversion, but... <sighs> Goodness. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Yes. Wait, why is she in front of the... Oh my- oh wait, they're all like- What is happening to my game? <laughs> what is she saying? I'm like scared to keep clicking. Is it just get- do the glitches just get worse? Oh god. Okay, okay. Okay, we can see. <laughs> oh right, okay, we're talking about the manga collection he hasn't mentioned in the classroom. Okay, okay. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Anatsuki flops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Kor. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Wait, what? We're we talking about comfort? What? <laughs> Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm, I'm stuck in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Scared. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. It's just me or she's like, bigger than normal. And slightly... The whole scene is like tilted. Oh god, this is, this is actually really good if you played like a lot of visual novels because it... You know when something's, like, off-kilter, you know? And you expect these same repetitive, like, you know, motions, like, you know, how a character pops up and how a scene changes and... Oh, it's good. It's good, but it's not good for me. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. If it's just gonna get worse, though... I don't know if, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> uh, no, it's not- it seems like the glitches are getting worse. This is, is my perception of that. It's not that, Yuri. I, I want to try and be part of the club, so even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. It's scary. It's scary. That was merely an appetizer. <sighs> Yuri reaches into her bag, pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. Ugh. <sighs> In order. <clears throat> so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. So I'm still, like, on this seemingly Yuri route, I, is my perception of this. Huh. Oh, no, this is because I did the poem. This is because the poem was was um, in her favor. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Be a faithful partner. I actually kind of like games that punishing you, punishes, like, punish you for gaming the game. You know, like, um, uh, like, you know, like, the Persona 5 harm sequence was, like, kind of, I wouldn't say, like, novel or smart, necessarily, but, like, kind of that way, right? 
Uh, this is this. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. Look forward to hearing what you think. Oh goodness. Okay, it's back to normal. <laughs> yeah, it's heartbreaking, honestly. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book, and I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is running around in the closet. Oh god, this is scary. Okay. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I'd feel bad for distracting me from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of the book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Okay. Okay. Crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks with a glance at me, and my eyes meet for some... I... I'm really curious if there's, like, any consistencies between, like, the glitches. Like, does it only happen in certain scenes? And if so, why? Oh, I could... I could... Strikes fear into my heart more than the RE2. You've, it's consistent... Like, well, saying it's consistent could still mean it's, like, narratively... Uh... <laughs> I've done, like, a little pale. Oh, sorry, kitty. Sorry, sorry. All right. <sighs> One more day. This is, we can do this. We can do this. She sees the glance at me. I meet for a sweet second. Mm, but makes her face hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. Despite the number of this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was focused. Then, if I was focused, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. <clears throat> I'm gonna speed through this because we have kind of already seen the scene. Maybe. Maybe we've seen the scene. <clears throat> gonna, just in case. <clears throat> I'm probably know this in the first place, but I'm just rereading a little bit of this. Uh, that's the book you gave me, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to read some of it, not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you used to probably the same book? Uh, well, that's when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. That's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. <laughs> I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts picking up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's very engaging and a relatable story. Is that so? Well, what's the story about anyway? Well, mm, dead people. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Did I remember that one? Basically, it's about this religious camp that turned it. Oh, no, this is new. I mean, this is new. I feel like this is new. Um, basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have a trait that turns them into killing machines that, that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and then they start selectively breathing people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. Sorry, kitty. Sorry. The book, I mean. Not- not the thing about the limbs. Sure. That's kind of- that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like she was going to be a nice story, so that dark term came at it from nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Cora? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy this kind of story, so don't worry. Um, I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that kind of story. It's the kind of that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Yes, strange new perspectives. When horrible things happen, not because just someone wants to be evil. <laughs> But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. <laughs> wow. Nice. Then suddenly I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know I have this problem when I let things like books and writing fill my thought. Oh my god, what was that? I forget to pay attention to other people. What was it? Is it in the history? Nope. Dang it. I, I was like too scared to look, so I didn't look. What Did anyone know what it said? Like even just a little bit? Um, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I, so I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. People are people breaking down. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. Ooh, it'd be cool if the protagonist doesn't change his lines despite all the creepiness going on. I actually think that's that's kind of cool. 
Oh god. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. This is a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... No, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it. Oh, there it is! Yes! Yes, we should get started reading this. Yes. Yes, we should. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> let me... Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had in my back. Is the CG going to be creepy? Oh my god. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri. I think, I have to finish the day. Alright. And then, and then I'll feel less bad if for some reason I just happen not to play it again. You know? <laughs> oh, oh god. I have something in my eye, though. Is it better? No. Is it better? You should have stopped when you had it. Like, on a scale, like, I mean, like, be honest, though. How much bad does it get? Like, more bad. Like, like obviously, the first jump scare was huge. But, like, how messed up? Love, love? I've heard about that. Uh, is, hold on. Let me see if it's the one I'm thinking of. It's, like, one of... People consider it, like, the top ten visual novels, if I recall. But I've never played it. Also, it looks kind of old. Not that that... You know, I, I play Planet, so it's fine. But, like, in terms of old. It's definitely, like, a lot dark. Well, I mean, dark is fine, but is it, like, scary? Like, like, um... Like, jumpy scary? I'm, I'm okay with, like, horrible things happening. Um, you know. I think I am. <laughs> we'll see. Oh. Like, like, the jumpiness gets worse. Okay. That sucks. Because it's actually really in interesting. But, like, I'm already almost at the limit. So I, I don't, I just, I'm just like, how do I get through if it's that much worse? Ugh. Ugh, God. This guy. <laughs> this, why would you play a game that you're just constantly afraid of? Have you guys all played this? Especially the way it's going right now, as in just tear. Oh my god. It's com yeah, um, yeah, no, I'm I'm curious about like hey, you're still here, Donnie. I'm curious about the <clears throat> I guess the story. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. The story. It and the telling of it is fine, I guess. <clears throat> Ugh. Yeah, no, I think that's amazing. Like, the subversions it's done just mechanically slash technically really, really throw you off because as someone who's played a lot of visual novels, right, n basically none of this stuff happens, or if it does, it's 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 within the format of the game. So, like, like yeah, maybe the bold letters and the weird font make sense, but then, like, the graphic stuff is, is actually quite um, novel. Huh, <laughs> pun intended. No one can pretend. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it might mess me up if I go too deep. So let's let's just take it. Let's just try and finish this day and uh, revise, revise. Okay, I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Oh my god, is the CG terrible? Is is the CG bad? Oh god. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? It is really cool. I appreciate it from um from a. a uh, a non-player. Fuck. It w No! Why do they always have to be on? Okay, okay, maybe I can, like, close my eyes. And, and, like, and, like, wait for it to calm down. The nice thing so far, and it might gave me later, is that once the glitch happens, it, like, continues the, like, you know, it's just, it's stationary again. So that's, that's nice. I can, like, as long as I miss the initial spook then it, then normally it's okay like obviously i don't have problems looking with it afterwards <sighs> that sucks because i actually am fine with gore <laughs> but i'm not fine with jumps like as someone who's like a and also a person who drinks too much caffeine <laughs> and is drinking caffeine right now <laughs> like i'm always more on like the tense end of the spectrum than the more relaxed end of the spectrum I, like, apparently I just, like, need drugs right now, but, um, no, <laughs> um, 
So it's like, I already have anxiety problems, man. Well, wait, I don't know when this cut, I don't know when the CG happens. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry. It's not like I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not used to very often. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. Oh god. Oh god, is it happening? It's not happening yet. Okay. Open the book. Start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. I don't believe you. Everything will scare me in this game if it comes out of nowhere. Okay, it's as if I can feel our presence over as when I read. I forgot where it happens! It just happened already! It's the tension that kills it! <laughs> There's something special. <laughs> it's not a particularly bad thing. I mean, I guess it would be a lot worse if I was, like, playing this by myself. Um, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Gary's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Okay, okay, so it's okay still. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Monica is good. <laughs> Honestly, Monica is a really appealing, like, she strikes me as the villain character, and, and if that's true, she sounds, she's, it's really cool. Um, and I'm curious about Natsuki because I haven't spent any time with her yet, but. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> that text. Thankfully that text is not as creepy as, like, the more, the more graphical poppins. Oh, man, I wish you could go back and read it, though. I mean, I'm sure you could, like, you know, just watch the recording and read it slowly but like i feel like i'm missing out on juicy character content um yuri you really apologize a lot don't you i i do i don't really mean to sorry i mean <laughs> here this should work right oh it's coming it's coming it's coming i slide my desk up against yuri's and hold my book between the two of them ah uh, is it time yet okay i suppose so when's the cutscene <laughs> I just, I just, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just like, the, the way it's gonna present itself is gonna be, like, scary, right? So, like, that's what I'm afraid of. I think the cutscene's fine. Probably. I mean, the CG. We're, we're, yeah. Hey, Ryuji, nice to see you. <laughs> no! T Tommy, go to bed. Okay. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Uh, it feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to open the book. Is it- Come on. Ah, uh, makes it a little difficult to tend- I wish I paid more attention to when the CGs were! <sighs> so much anxiety. Uh, I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Okay. Is, is it over? Is it over? Is it over? Is it over? Seems fine. Seems fine. Is it fine, guys? Wait, is it gonna happen in the CG? Am I gonna click something and it's gonna pop out of me? I don't believe you- Okay, I believe some of you some of the time. Are we sure? Are we sure it's safe? Looking around. No dead bodies. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Are we sure? Yeah. <laughs> Non-sub taken down. <laughs> no! Just jumps are not okay! Yuri takes her left arm, holds it side of book between her forefinger and finger. Alright, I'm just gonna be scared of this whole CG then. Fine. Fine. Thanks, chat. <sighs> Do the same with my right arm on the other side of the book. That way I turn the page on each side of the bottom, slip it over to the side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. I don't, I don't know if I believe you, Kyle. <laughs> I want to believe you. I do. I do. Hi again, Ryuji. Um, let's see. Are you ready? No. No, 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 ready. Uh -huh. To turn the page. Uh, sorry. Okay, okay, I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. It's true. It's true. It's true. 
<laughs> okay, I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet, but I don't know how long I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading right. Don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Um, since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Okay, it's been safe so far. I don't want to trust it. I don't want to trust it. Uh, Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just she just assumes I'll turn the page before me, so I turn by my own volition. <laughs> we continue to turn the short chapter in a couple of times. I can't do VA if I'm scared. <laughs> Anxiety is not helpful for voice acting, unless I'm, I guess, voice acting an anxious character. Uh, which would be true if the protagonist is me right now. But I think the protagonist is chill. Clearly ignorant of the situation. Uh, okay, we continue the first chapter in silence. Oh no. That's not too scary. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently lets go of the page, letting it fold her over her side as she catches over her own thumb. This was so romantic the first time. Now I'm just terrified. <sighs> Alright, um, hey Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, no. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. <laughs> Look at her face! Was that- did that happen in the first time? I feel like her face was not like that in the first CG. I- I don't know anymore. It is romantic. It's not. It's not. My best friend is dead. Alright, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she seconds guesses things and all that. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. That's good. Something else. Never mind. She breaking. She breaking down. We didn't even get that far yet. Tell me about it. So I don't know why that came into my head. Ha 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 ha. Lim girl, calm down. <sighs> what do you mean, Monica? <laughs> you guys are so... <laughs> you guys... <laughs> I mean, I appreciate you're here with me, because this game would be so much harder without you making me laugh intermittently between being horrified. Yuri, are you feeling alright? You know... Now I'm, like, curious what happens if you, like, oh, but you can't choose Monica, that's why. You can't choose Monica in the first playthrough. That makes sense. Because, like, what happens if you just choose Monica and you can't? Curious what happens if you choose Sayori, though. Hmm. That's good. That's, that's so good! It's so good, but it's so scary! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll, we'll see how I sleep tonight, and uh, I'll, get, I'll get back to you. Alright, Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. I like how this game just takes it one step creepier in the dialogue, too. It's, it's, ah, uh, it's, it is brilliant. And I'm not even that far. And I can recognize that. Night, Nightbot's on it. Nightbot's on it. Good job. Okay. Alright. Don't push yourself. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright. Yuri stands up, practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Monica is still Monica. That's good. Core, did something happen just now? <laughs> I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Nope, can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I'm gonna start looking at this screen, because, like, the smaller screen of this, my eyes are not, like, supervision pro. <laughs> what? So it's, like, easier if I see it on the small screen than, like, 
this big immersive one. So I'm sorry if I look over there a lot, but it's happening to get through this. Um, oh no, not really. It was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. Nope, nothing. Why would I do anything to her? <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? <laughs> well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make mental notes of where I left off in the book and slip it back in my bag. Oh god, is it? Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Just, so let's just start with Monica, because I think she's probably less liable to scare me. Um, I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Okay, 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 she's fine, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine, okay. <laughs> Hi, Cor! Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah, yep, a very good time. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? I'm afraid. Very good, but you know. All right. Yep, yep. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be a little afraid to bring things up. It's, it's much better going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, uh, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Cor. We're all a little embarrassed today, aren't we? But it's just what sort of burial you'll have to get past soon. Y yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm! Great job, Cor. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <sighs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's just full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She probably kills them. I mean, she spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. Uh, but that's why she gets so happy when um, you treat her with a lot of kindness. And not me. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think she gets too stimulated. She ends up withdrawing and looking alone, looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're safe, we're safe. Um, <laughs> I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all start sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time that you needed. <clears throat> Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. Anyway, you want to read my poem? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. I don't have a choice. You know, I don't always feel that way. You know? Mm -hmm, I see. Uh, let's, let's read it then. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, it's safe? It's safe. Alright. Oh, it's the same poem. Right? Let's see. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. <laughs> With more meaning, I, I, I suppose. Um, confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. My burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricking on my ears. The room begins to crackle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it leaves my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. It's okay. Safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you think? Um, very free form, if that's what you call it. Uh, sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay, I know you hate me. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. <laughs> There's a lot of poems that have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, 
well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. Oh, snap. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. It's gonna be scary. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. And that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh god, it's scary, scary, scary. Okay, it's fine, 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 fine. I'm gonna leave her for last. We're gonna we're gonna mosey over here. We're gonna mosey over here. Okay, we're safe. These poem readings are a lot more serene than the rest of this day has been. I'm actually it was actually it's actually been a nice respite. I'm not gonna lie. I needed a little bit of a a not this for you know two seconds. It's meaning. I do like the poems have this you know like the multi layer nuance thing to it. Reading them a second time. Okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> I need to take more breaks now. Even though I'm not tangenting, it's like I just need I just need to like calm myself and remind me not to drink coffee the next time I play uh, this game. Anyway. Hmm? Well, it's not. It's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Um, I guess fly, horse can leave, horse can race, owls can seek, she can run, eels can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Okay, same one, still fine. So we're still fine. <sighs> yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because I've always wanted to try a bang energy drink. Like, I hear they're tasty. Uh... Uh, let's see. Um, I don't drink a lot of energy drinks, though. You know, I have I have enough problems with the caffeine thing. Oh, I'm talking so fast. Okay. Um, everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you harder. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. It brings out feeling on the last line. Uh, so you did. I guess more went into it really realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yep, guess not. Decided humor with the last comment. Don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I don't want to take that away from her. Okay. Last one. Maybe last, maybe last one. Maybe not last one. Ghost, Ghost Sayori might show up and change the game. Hmm. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. What was that? Hmm. Uh, did, did I say it out loud? Yuri curls up her mouth, then, cover, then ends up covering her whole face. I, uh, he's going to hate me. Um, Ghost, <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> Alright. Who, <laughs> Ghost, who? Ghost, who? Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? Uh -huh. That's... I guess you're right. Why am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphor indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh. <laughs> Yuri. Um, Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem, as breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay, this is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I've kind of learned to pick up on them. And I think the most noticeable thing I can recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. <sighs> Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes, her stammer is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. It's, like, it's putting my guard down. I shouldn't be clicking this fast, because what if? What if? 
Um, <laughs> Whew, um, I also hope everyone else in the clubs gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Uh, biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. No, that's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? <laughs> Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily if that's a rare opportunity for her, which in itself is kind of funny. And after all, isn't this supposed to be a literature poem? Okay, same thing. I keep expecting, like, something terrible on one of these sheets now. Expecting something terrible everywhere. Ghost in the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate the, beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing, air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. <sighs> Wait. Um... Hmm. I I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all, but it took you such a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it was short, it was really descriptive. Wait, what? What are we talking about? Oh, oh, I see. We don't know what we're talking about because that person doesn't exist. Gotcha. <laughs> it, it wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Uh, not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild, something easier to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Cor. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance out over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Soon to be left with nothing. <sighs> That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of it. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Cor. Uh, me too. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. There was a little- that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. <sighs> this song sounds a little weird. Am I, am I hearing anything? It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. It's just as if they're being nice. There's no way my poem stands up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Natsuki is writing something on her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. Okay, okay, they're safe. They're human. All right, mm -hmm. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows throw on free on frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh. Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to her desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you just completely miss the symbolism of something? It's so clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you're trapped to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Cor did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mmm! And Cor liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Oh, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Cor appreciates my voice more than he appreciated yours. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was that full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Mmm. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew size as soon as Cor started showing up. Natsuki... Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out on your own securities and others like that. You really act as young as you are. 
Is it over? Is it over? Is it, is it over? <laughs> Me, look who's talking, you want- <laughs> Yo, wow! Oh, they're going there! They're, <laughs> they're going there, okay. We're just, it's just looping, it's fine. The music's going a little crazy, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Me, look who's talking- Wait, why is it, why is it getting grainy? Look who's talking, you edgy bitch. E edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone with your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Is this because, like, Siori's not here, so, like, things are getting out of control? Like, she was the heart of the heart of the group, and now there's no heart, and the... Uh, anyway. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality by dressing, a dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Oh, shh. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? Did, did you accuse me of cutting myself? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. That was the wrong, that was the wrong insult. What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Kor hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels after you after this. Uh, suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing there. Kor, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Gotta go with- gotta go- uh-oh. 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 Guys! Guys! Guys, I won't stop! Guys! Hi. What's up? What's up, Monica? What's- uh, what you doing? Hi, yeah, yeah, you doing- you doing well? Yeah. It's fun. It's, it's a fun game. It's a fun- fun game, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, that's fun! Yep. I'm just gonna, just gonna put my hand on the mouse now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put my hand on the mouse now. Alright. Hey, what's up, Monica? So, um, so we talked about that selection, right? You know, I, I really just wanted to pick Yuri. And, um, I see you're standing there. Uh, how you, how you doing? How you doing? Doing, doing well? Okay. <sighs> Alright. Alright, well, we'll just, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna select the bottom one, I think. I think, you know, I'm just gonna select it. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna select it again. Alright, um, nope. Uh, um, hey, Core. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Just, alright, fine. You just, 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 just getting cock blocked. Alright, you know, that's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? Can't even confront my own club members properly. Oh yeah, they were talking about, like, how s the one who shall not be named is, like, kind of the reason. I don't know, like, how it was different without her, and... I don't know. It, it, it's cool they're carrying through, I guess, is what I, I mean to say. I just wish I was a little more assertive sometimes. I don't know, I think she's, I think she's plenty assertive. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, she's crying. Mm. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Scary, scary, scary. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. <laughs> Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Kor, please don't hate me. Please! I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. <laughs> it's fine, Yuri. We both know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget it all tomorrow. Good old tomorrow. She's, she seems kind of hard to get to know, honestly. Like, she didn't even give me her poem on the, on the third day. Oh, wait, no music. No music in this game is, is bad news bears. Uh, completely. Hmm. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Uh, Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go home first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm, well, I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. 
I'll wait for you to be done. Mm. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Kor. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Am I die? Am I, am I gonna die? <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Just in case. Just in case, just in case. I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really- Oh god, oh god! <laughs> it's over. I think I clicked through something. That I maybe clicked it through fast, I didn't mean to, but now I'm glad I did. Well, time to make a poem. All right. Um, cry. Judgment. Tenacious. Death. Atone. No, 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 no. Lust, I guess. Why else are we playing this game? Frightening. Oh, I thought that was moody. Oops. Intellectual depression, unrestrained rain cloud. Unending sensation. Wrath. Desire. Tragedy. Agonizing. Anger. Just something. Alright. Alright. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's get through. Okay, okay, we're good. We're gonna save. We're gonna save right here. We're gonna save right here. We, uh, we, uh, save. That's not the save button. Oh, I thought the save was blocked out. Oh shoot! Nice. Now, now I'm afraid to quit, but I think it's fine. Nice. That's ah, that's that's good. That's actually really good. Oh wait, hold on. Let me let me go to the room. I want to see something. I saved. It's fine. Ha! So my old one's gone. Huh? That's good. It's like almost Undertale esque a little bit, except. The V end, except more horror and anime. I didn't even play Undertale though. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. We need a we need we need some we need some K pop up in here. 